Hello, sports card investors, and welcome tonight to the final night of the 2023 Virtual Holiday Card Show. The Virtual Holiday Card Show is such a fun event that we get to do every year here at Sports Card Investor, and one of the reasons why I love it so much is we get to give away so many prizes to you. Last night we gave away, I think, about 40 different boxes, sealed boxes of cards, plus a lot more, and tonight we have even more prizes to give away. I'm looking down this list of prizes. This is insane tonight. We're giving away later tonight a box of 2023 Topps Definitive Baseball. That is just an absolutely massive box. We're giving that away later today. We're giving away 2017 Optic Basketball, a hobby box of 2017 Optic Basketball, 2022 Select Football Hobby Box, and so much more. Wouldn't these be nice little things to put under the tree? perhaps for yourself here uh, right before the holiday season. And these giveaways, by the way, are thanks to our friends at Midwest Cards, our official retail sponsor, Midwest Cards. You can check them out at MidwestCards.com. Great selection of wax, as well as Whatnot. Whatnot is our host of this year's virtual holiday card show. We are super happy to be on Whatnot. And Whatnot has a deal tonight. This is a very special thing. Last night on Whatnot, they gave us... Uh, 400 of these absolute football blaster boxes to sell during our live stream last night on Whatnot. We were selling this for $15 each, half off the normal price of these boxes. We sold out of all 400 within like 20 or 30 minutes. Well, they reloaded us. We've got another set to give away tonight, a couple hundred more. And Whatnot wants everybody to know that if you don't have a Whatnot account and you sign up for an account now using the link, that we're putting in the show, uh, the show chat right now, that link will get you $10 in free credit on your Whatnot account. So if you don't have an account, use that link in the chat, sign up for a Whatnot account, you'll get $10 free, and then you'll literally be able to buy one of these boxes for $5 when we go live on Whatnot later tonight. But you can go ahead and sign up now. Use that link in the chat to sign up now and get your uh, $10 sitting in there free for when we cut over there tonight. So how this is going to work tonight, guys, we're going to be here on YouTube for the next hour and a half. Those of you who want to enter the giveaways here on YouTube, the giveaway link is also on, in the chat. Is that one still pinned, Kelly, or is the whatnot yes, one pinned right now? The giveaway link is pinned to the top of the chat, so the top of your YouTube chat. You can click that and get entered into tonight's giveaways. Even if you register for the giveaways last night, you need to register again. It's a separate giveaway registration for tonight. So make sure to fill out that. We're going to pick our winners here in a, a little bit over an hour uh, for the YouTube giveaways. Then we're going to move over to Whatnot, to the Cards HQ shop account on Whatnot, where we will continue our giveaways and sell cards. So for those of you that are here to buy cards and see cards tonight, you're going to see those in about an hour and a half over on the Cards HQ shop whatnot. We've got some awesome guests tonight. We're going to bring our first one on in just a minute, but first let me give a shout out to some of you in the chat tonight. I appreciate you guys are already here early and active in the chat. Kevin Ferris, what's going on? Frank ST Does Cards, Richard Ivory, Baseball Card 35, absolutely. Jordan Allen, Devil, Devil Glover, what's up everybody in the chat? Jason Kelly, what's going on? Joe C, what's up? Hello, uh, Shifty Rabbit. What's up, everybody? Hello from Australia. One of One Memorabilia Cards. By the way, they do great custom cards. Check out One of One Memorabilia Cards. A uh, really nice job on custom cards. They're in the chat tonight as well. Eric Morgan, Steve Hall, uh, David Schmidt, uh, Brian F., uh, Jim, Jim Manor. Uh, lots of folks in the chat tonight. Uh, great to see all of you guys. It's also going to be great to see our next guest. You guys know Rob Varis from Burbank Sports Cards and the Burbank Card Show. Let's bring Rob onto the virtual holiday card show. Hey, Jeff. Great to see you, Rob. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you and yours as well, Jeff. Good to see you, my friend. I appreciate it. So it's it's uh, it's a little after five o'clock out there on the in the Pacific Coast. So LA time. You guys are obviously in Burbank. Is the is the shop still open right now? Yeah, we're open till seven. Got some good flow of people through here. It's been a fun day. Um, but yeah, we're open eleven to seven, and uh, we have to kick people out usually, which is nice. 
And obviously most people watching are probably familiar with Burbank Sports Cards, known as one of the premier card shops in the entire world. Um, and uh, I think the, the biggest, or certainly one of the biggest online sellers in our space on, on eBay. But Rob, for people who maybe haven't come by your store in Burbank, California before, tell them a little bit about what that experience is like. Well, we just try to make it a positive experience um, based on um, just the joy of cards, being able to go through cards, um, the liquidity um, that we provide here, put your name on a list, and I got three people that buy, so we're constantly bringing in fresh cards. We have tens of thousands of cards in number order here for you to go through and to enjoy. And, um, you know, we bought like five triple shoes of graded cards the last few days. So basically we have our daily new arrival showcases. Um, we just try to make the best experience in the business. And um, like you, Jeff, just try to put people on the up, try to put yourself on the other side of the counter and give the um, best possible experience. Yeah, that's incredible. And you do that in your store, but you also have one of the largest selection of cards uh, in the world. Uh, I know on your eBay store as well, you guys do a ton, ton of mail order too. Yeah, um, we have a 7,500 foot facility about a block from here. And we've literally went to a free shipping model, Jeff, where the whole store is a free shipping model. So um, basically we got 2.4 million different listings on eBay. And you could buy five cards, three cards, whatever it is, you're not paying shipping. Um, so that's a real recent development with us. And uh, yeah, we add thousands of cards a day to the site. And um, we just try to be there for the hobbyist, um, which I think is key in this day and age is remembering that it's a hobby. Yeah, 100%. You're there for the hobbyist. And that has led you to have some some uh, celebrities walk through your door from time to time. You've had some cool things go on in your store, different celebrities from LA. You've had obviously Michael Rubin there from Fanatics as well. What what are some of your favorite moments with people coming into your store, Rob? Um, it's always a kick. You know, you try to get pictures. You try not to be that guy. Like I had, um, oh, what's his face? Um, Pete Davidson in here and he had a big security guard with him and he was here with um, Kim Kardashian's son as well as one of the other sisters' son and didn't really want to bother him or get a picture. I felt kind of bad, but um, but it was cool. He was chill. But yeah, getting Michael Rubin in here was quite the thrill. Um, just a cool down to earth guy and um, someone I think is going to be real positive for the industry. Yeah, and I know you've been you've been outspoken. I've obviously had you on my Jeff Wilson show. Uh, podcast multiple times, and you've been pretty outspoken about wanting to see the hobby, the industry, go in the direction of of not being all about box breaking and, to use your words, more of a casino type feel. Um, you wanted to see it go in the direction of really catering to the collector. It, it feels to me like I've seen some of the you know some of the marketing tops has done recently, and some of the things they're doing. It feels to, to me like maybe your, your message is resonating with them a little bit. Um, but where, where do you, where do you see that kind of going with them? Um, I, I have Mike Mahan in here regularly. His son is a big fan of the shop and, you know, we've kind of gone back and forth with the breaking, the fractionalized casinos, just everybody trying to fractionalize something in the business. And I'm like, this has never been something that should ever have really been fractionalized to begin with. But in my recent discussions, there's discussions about hobby journeys. And I'm like, that is what I want to talk about. That's what I want to hear. And it's not all about a casino mentality. Um, it's about the joy of collecting and just getting that bubble mailer in the envelope or going to that local shop and putting your hands on cards um, and completing something or setting a goal for yourself. That's what this business was always built upon. And it's been lost the last three or four years and i'm that guy on that soapbox speaking on things from experience and you know fanatics has come in with their fanatics live and the breaking and the product all going to certain people and i'm like i really don't think breaking should be the forward facing part of the industry um my th thoughts and you know this jeff i've told you this before is if i have 100 people in my shop and 85 of them have a bad experience i'm out of business but with breaking that's pretty much the number 
is when you do a break, 85% of the people on that break aren't happy. And for every negative interaction that we have within the industry, I'm not a fan. Um, I want 100%. That's the goal. You walk in, you sell me 800 bucks of cards, you had a good experience. You went through my vintage, my value slabs, and you had a good experience. So I have kind of a bit of a soapbox to speak on this and not a lot of people do speak on this. And I think it's a problem. I think what we have is this silent majority of folks, the vast majority of people in this space collect cards, um, aren't involved in box breaks, um, really enjoy it as a hobby, but you don't hear much about them. And I think Fanatics is starting to see that we really need to speak on these journeys, talk to these folks, see what they're buying, and maybe focus more on the cards within these boxes than just fractionalizing these boxes. And that's kind of my goal is to get that across. And um, I'm hoping that that's something that um, changes in the very near future. Yeah, really, really interesting. What's been hot in your store? We're here in the holiday shopping season. I imagine you've got some holiday shoppers probably in there right now, maybe buying for their family members or friends. What's What's been hot? Um, going back to fanatics, it's baseball. Um, I really like that most baseball products are affordable. Um, and I think that they make better gifts. Um, you could come in for 30, 50, 100 bucks and and come out with something, come out with something sealed. I think they're doing a hell of a job, whether it's at mass retail or whether it's in the hobby shops. And since we've seen the distributors go away with Fanatics, we're seeing price points that people can afford. And it's Topps products, to be honest with we Topps baseball. It's dominating everything else. So that's super exciting. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I uh, was able to pick up uh, some top soccer boxes for my son. In fact, I got some last time I was there at Burbank, but I've been buying more recently. I got some on Midwest cards and it's, it's nice to be able to buy boxes for 50 bucks and, you know, give him a box. He can actually get some numbered cards out of it, maybe get an autograph out of it and, and he can have, you know, rip, rip all he wants and I don't feel like I'm getting, you know, financially killed on that box. Yeah, I think that's important too, is to recognize, especially with the economic outlook that we have right now, that 50 bucks is a lot of money to a lot of people. And we've kind of disregarded these folks for the last three, four years. And I think what's happening in the industry right now is really a net positive that so many things all of a sudden are leveling out to price points where more people can engage in that whole three, five, 10 Xing the hobby. I think it's gonna happen when we have more affordable price points in play and a mom can come in with their with her kids and walk out of here for 60 bucks with some sealed products for both of the kids and feel good about the purchase. So that's kind of my opinion anyways. And I think um, this holiday season, we're, we're seeing that, where we're seeing a much lower price point box on average being checked out at the register. And to me, that's a positive. It's very much a positive. Awesome, Rob. Well, I appreciate you joining. For people who uh, haven't followed you, tell them how they can follow Burbank Cards. Um, you can follow me at Instagram, at Burbank Cards. You can follow our website, which is BurbankCards.com. And you can shop us on eBay. We've got over 6 million cards sold on there. Just just put in Burbank Sports Cards eBay, and you'll see the whole selection, and it's all free shipping. And, hey, come on out to Burbank. We'd love to have you in the shop. 41 showcases, the craziest selection out there. So if you're coming to SoCal, come visit the Card Father. And the Burbank Card Show back uh, Ontario, right? In February. Yeah, we're super pumped. Um, we've expanded the team. We have the whole Ontario Convention Center. And it's in California, not Canada. That's <laughs> Get on the right flight. And so it's, uh, what is it, February 15th through 18th. And we announced that we're going back to Anaheim on um, August, I think it's 22nd to 25th. And we're doing the same facility there again. So... Super awesome. pumped to bring big car shows to the West Coast. Great to see you, Rob. Happy holidays. Give my best to you and yours. Thanks, Jeff. Take care. All right. Always fun to talk to Rob Varis, one of the most, most uh, well-spoken, smart guys in the hobby. Of course, a longtime card shop owner. I've learned a lot from him.
And, uh, oh, look at this little beauty. This is a box of uh, Panini Origins Football 2023. So that's a new box. This is one of... Gosh, I don't know, 30, 40, 40 different boxes I think that we're giving away tonight. So if you've not registered for tonight's giveaways yet, different link than last night, the link is pinned to the top of the YouTube chat. Make sure to go register for that now. And those giveaways are actually in one hour, just about an hour is when we're going to do our first set of giveaways tonight. But first, a very special guest, Dan from Stand Up Displays. Dan, happy holidays. It's great to see you. Happy holidays, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm, I'm proud to say this is my third year in a row. I've completed the SCI hat trick. That is right. This is Dan's third year in a row on the virtual. And of course, Dan and I have known each other for a bit. I invested in his company, Stand Up Displays. And Dan, there's been a big milestone this year. Um, actually, fairly recently, to, re to report to everybody, this is, uh, we'll, we'll tell everybody what I have in, here in my hand and why this is so significant. Yeah, I'm excited first off to hear Rob say that baseball is doing so well in the shop because the news that we have to share is that we now have officially licensed MLB displays in our shop now available for sale. Yeah, these are the ultimate way to display your cards. And, uh, you know, we've always had cool ones like, you know, football jerseys and, of course, the custom stands that people love to get created with their own logo and that type of thing. But it is the new Major League baseball fully licensed major league baseball team stands that i'm particularly excited about because i get to show off my braves collection on officially licensed brave stands now which are pretty cool and dan we're going to talk a little bit more about this in your business but first for anybody who's interested in picking up one of these right now it's a great little stocking stuffer you got a, a special offer for them tonight right yes we do so if you head to our website which is standupdisplays.co and you enter code virtual 2023, you'll get 20% off your order now through Sunday. So now it's a perfect opportunity to get those stocking stuffers at a really good price in time for the holidays. And Dan, is that, does that apply to, to everything on the site? All across the site. So buy away guys. Yeah, that's off. a bit that's a big discount. So I could go on and I could order some more of my custom cards HQ stands here uh, with our yes, logo sir. of our new card shop and I could get 20% off these bad boys. Okay. All right. Promo yes, code sir. virtual2023 on standupdisplays.co. That's awesome. All right. So we're here at the end of the year and as you look back, this is your business. Stand Up Displays is your business. You left the corporate world a few years ago to go full-time yeah. into this business. As yep. you look back on 2023, I know it was a big growth year for Stand Up Displays. What kind of stands out to you most? It, it's just been a phenomenal year. I think the team has delivered just an amazing year. You know, we're continuing to double, which is important as you're growing a business from the ground up. Um, we've expanded our team. As we discussed, we added the MLB licensed displays. I mean, one of the, the keys for me for the year was actually working with and having the Baseball Hall of Fame carry our product as well right down the street in Cooperstown. So when you wow, talk that's cool. about just the health of the business, growing in a hobby that we love, but also, you know, really, you know, doing some cool things along the way, it's just been a really cool year from an experience. Yeah, yeah, the Baseball Hall of Fame carrying your products is, is definitely a pretty cool feather in your cap. And I guess getting the MLB licensing, of course, has to help, you know, with that type of thing as well. And I know, yes. Hopefully that will lead to more opportunities next year, more opportunities to get the uh, baseball stands in more places. We'll see. I mean, we're always innovating. We never sit still. We're always moving. We're delivering for our customers, trying to bring new and exciting things to help you enjoy your collections. And I know 2024 is going to be the year of the collector. You're going to be able to buy the cards that you want at really good prices. Don't put them in a box. Put them on your shelf like you see in the background here. Put them on your wall. Remind yourself day to day why you collect and why we love this hobby so much. By the way, that is a beautiful card case you have behind you. What it, that's a that's like what is that like a glassed in? Looks like you got a little light on there, and then you've got all of your 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 cards. It looks like on stand up displays. Yes, sir. So this is an IKEA cabinet, very common in the hobby. I think it's about 100, 120 bucks or something like that. And then you can just display all your cards in there, enjoy them on a day to day basis. They're kept dust free. I mean, I even got, you know, Tim, I've got your card there and I've got mama breaks right in the front. So I'm trying to rep my friends that I've made in the hobby along the way as well. That's, that's very, very cool. I like that. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a really innovative, innovative way to display them. 
Um, and I know, Dan, as we've been working together, one thing that you've always tried to do is kind of innovate on your your product line, right? You've been, you know, this, uh, you invested this last year in, uh, in direct print technology so you can print directly on stands like this. Is yes. this something that, are you seeing a lot of different companies in the hobby, um, you know, kind of do what we did here and order the custom uh, stand with their logo? Yeah, so we can do literally anything. I think last year for the virtual, we actually put your face on them. Um, we can do, we did somebody's pet dog on a stand last week. Um, obviously we can do logos and, you know, color blast designs and anything that you can put your, your mind to. So as long as it fits on the front, we can do it. If you want to do a QR code, a social handle, a picture of you at your favorite baseball game, you name it, we can do that. And that's just been phenomenal from a turnaround time perspective, cost savings, but also capability. If I, if I go on your website tonight and I use that promo code uh, virtual2023 and I order one of these custom stands, my own picture, or my social handle or something on it, will I get it? Do you think I'll get it in time for Christmas? Yes, you will. There we go, and I'll save 20%. So I'll get the entire thing for what? Less than 20 bucks for a you custom bet. card stand. That's pretty Cannot sweet. Cannot beat it. Cannot beat That's it. That's awesome. Busy. We want to be busy now until the holidays to, to get you guys the cool stuff that you want to display your cards with. Well, one thing that I think is really important is supporting entrepreneurs in the sports card hobby because the sports card hobby is really, the entire thing is built by entrepreneurs. When you go to any card show and you walk around to the dealer tables, I mean, every single dealer there is an entrepreneur trying to you know, make things happen in the sports card hobby. And if we want the hobby to continue to grow and thrive and we want new innovations to come into the space, then we want to support the entrepreneurs in this hobby that are doing good things and are, are, are doing great things to grow the hobby, employing people, in the hobby, all that type of thing. And I can, I can tell you from personal firsthand experience, Dan, you are one of those people doing good things, hiring people, growing the product line, and trying to make the experience of collecting better by giving everyone a better way to display their cards. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. That means the world to me. And you know, obviously, we're nowhere near where we are now without the people that support us, both customers and uh, the supporters that we have in our families and our, our companies. So thank you to everybody for all the help. Awesome. Dan, it was great to see you. Happy holidays, and everyone go check out standupdisplays.co, promo code virtual2023. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. All right, that was fun. That was fun. It's great to see Dan, truly one of the good guys in the hobby. It's great to, oh, you know what? We're going to give, oh, I'm just told we're going to give away some stuff from standup displays. Dan, in fact, uh, hooked us up with uh, a, one of these Major League Baseball stands to give away. Uh, so we're going to give away one of these tonight of your choice of your favorite team. We also, he also gave us a 10 pack of clear PSA stands to give away and uh, two packs, uh, uh, two Blackberry stands to give away. So all of those will be given away tonight as part of our giveaway that we're gonna be doing here in one hour. So you can, if you register using that link in the chat, you're gonna be eligible for all those giveaways. We're gonna announce the winners in an hour. And we're gonna give away this too. Oh, that's a nice box. Look at that, we're giving this away, Prism. This is, uh, is this English Premier League prism? It is English Premier League prism. That's nice. You know, my, uh, my son Harrison ripped a box of English Premier League prism and he got a gold Harry Kane. Gold number to 10, Harry Kane, the pride of England, out of a box of uh, English Premier League prism. So hopefully you'll get one too. That's one of the giveaways tonight, courtesy of our official retail sponsor, Midwest Cards. A great place to get your wax for the holidays, Midwest Cards. Dot com. All right, guys, I'm excited to bring our next guest on. It's going to be Carly from She Breaks. Hey, Carly, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So are you in, are you in Dallas tonight? Yes, Dallas area. Okay, so Carly is, is uh, you guys may recognize her a regular at the Dallas Card Show. She's from Dallas. She's a collector of uh, some of the best Dallas athletes. But you also have a chance to travel around some and go to different, you know, different card shows. I've seen you at other card shows as well. Outside of the Dallas Card Show, because I know that's your favorite, do you have a, a card show or a card show experience that's, that's been your favorite you know, uh, other than Dallas? I think it's really cool because each show is like a little bit unique and even some of the smaller shows, there's some really good deals and they're a lot of fun. But like I would say my top three shows of the year 
are obviously the national and then Dallas. And then I do love the Burbank card show as well. Yeah. And we just had Rob on a few minutes ago. They're doing two of those next year. So we're, we're certainly excited uh, for the Burbank card show next year. That's a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll have you down. Are you going to be down uh, in Atlanta in January for culture collision? Yes. I just finished booking that one. So I will be there as well. Good. Well, hopefully that becomes one of your favorites. It's going to be right around the corner from our brand new Cards HQ card shop, and we are rushing to get Cards HQ open for Culture Collision. So we'll be able to uh, show you the store while you're in town. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Everyone from the show can come in and check out the shop too. That's awesome. Absolutely. So for, for those watching who aren't familiar with Carly, aren't familiar with She Breaks, Carly, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so my name is She Breaks. I started cards probably around three years ago. I got into cards by, I bought into my first group break for $300. It was a Pac-Man break. Um, and I got, the last card of the break was a one one Flawless James Wiseman um, Collegiate Star Swooch RPA. So I bought in for $300, then later sold that card for $3,000. And then after that, I've been hooked into cards and have been able to make it my full-time job. So I travel around going to shows a couple times a month, buying, selling, trading, all that good stuff. You see, this is the ultimate way. I see, I love this story, right? Because what, you know, this is how we get more people into the hobby. This is how we 10X the hobby. We, we develop some type of system that the first break somebody buys into, we just pull, we just get it, we just get them a big hit and then they're hooked and then they're going to, they're going to be part of it forever. Apparently it worked for you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I absolutely love it. I've got to meet a ton of great people along the way and travel to a bunch of cool places too. So I love it. And you both set up at card shows as a dealer and you go around and create content. And I think when I first, uh, you know, saw you, you know, found out about you, it was through your Instagram and through some of those um, reels that you do, which are always, always entertaining. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I would say Instagram is my biggest platform. I've tried to expand more on YouTube and then obviously on TikTok, but um, Instagram is my favorite to post and interact on for sure. And how have you, you know, kind of becoming a content creator in this space, how have you adapted kind of what you've done over time, figured out what's worked? Like, how would you describe what you do and how that's, how that's evolved over time? Yeah, I think um, coming into the space right when I first got started, you know, there were a few content creators, but obviously not as many as there are now. And I took kind of the approach of rather than just showing like all of my cards, I kind of showcase the hobby as well. So my content style, I'll go around and interview people all throughout the show and ask them questions about sports and sports cards and kind of get, you know, um, input from the hobby as a whole and kind of incorporate that into my content. Yeah, absolutely. Are basketball cards your favorite cards to collect? Yes, they are. I noticed them more on your Instagram feed than other types of cards. So I kind of assumed maybe you had a personal affection towards basketball cards. Yes, basketball is my favorite. And then I kind of do um, basketball, football, a little bit of baseball. Those are kind of my main ones. I did notice you were at the World Series this year. The, you, yeah. you were there to, to watch part of one of the Rangers uh, victories in the World Series. Absolutely. I had to root on my Rangers. I'm from Dallas, so I am a Rangers fan as well as a Cowboys fan. Well, that's exciting. Now, are you a Mavericks fan or do you have another NBA team? Mavericks. I've, I definitely am a Mavericks fan and Luka is for sure my guy. <laughs> Okay. All right. There you go. Lucas, Lucas, your guy. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're able to do this year. Um, you recently were part of the whatnot card show. Whatnot is obviously a sponsor of, of this event or virtual holiday. We're going to be on whatnot later tonight, uh, selling some cards here as well as doing a bunch more giveaways. What was that experience? Like, what did you do on the whatnot card show? How often do you go on whatnot? Tell me what you do there. Yeah, um, I used to break a lot more on whatnot, but now I just kind of hop on. I'll kind of look at my friends, see, um, buy a little bit, um, but uh, I don't really break as much on there as I used to. Okay, awesome. Well, it was good to see you as part of the card show. Um, tell me, how do we get more women involved in the sports card hobby? I, I, I feel like it's been growing. I've seen more women. I've seen more involvement from women, but... As you know, when you go to card shows, it's still very predominantly men. How can we continue to grow the female sector of the sports card hobby? I think just being welcoming to new people in the hobby. I think sports cards are always going to be male dominated. Sports in general are male dominated. So I never see women, you know, overtaking men in the sports card 
world, but it is great to like welcome them with open arms and maybe not talk down to them as much as a lot of people do. Oh, okay. All right. Cute. That's a little, little cue out there for you guys on the last sentence there. No talking down to women in the sports card hobby. And of course, why would you? She breaks knows her stuff, knows her stuff very, very well. There's a lot of women in this uh, space who know their stuff very well. And so uh, certainly do not take that for granted. Um, what are you looking to most, looking forward to most for the year ahead? I'm really excited for sports card shows coming up. Um, December is kind of, I'm not doing any shows for December. I kind of took this month off. The market's slow, shows are slow. So we're going to hit January ground running. I have two lined up in January, two lined up in February, and then a lot more throughout the year. So just going to those shows, interacting with people and buying and selling lots of sports cards. Awesome. There you go. What a, what a good way uh, to uh, celebrate the, the new year. It doesn't get any better than that, than having a calendar full of getting to go to different sports card shows. Yeah. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, tell everyone, Carly, how they can follow you, connect with you, find you, et cetera, if they are not already doing that. Yeah, all my platforms are at she underscore breaks, and I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. There you go. And you can see that uh, we just put the handle there up on the screen, uh, so you can see that down there as well. Appreciate it and happy holidays and, and Merry Christmas to you. Yes, you too. Thank you for having me. Take care. All right. Another good person in the hobby there. We're featuring a lot of great people on the hobby in this show. It's fun to celebrate them, them and it's fun to celebrate you. I'm going to show you guys a couple more of the giveaways that we've got tonight. We've got a blaster box of 2020 Prism football. That's, a, that's one that you would like for sure because you got a possibility of some silvers in here from guys like Joe Burrow and and uh, Jordan Love and Tua and Jalen Hurts and Justin Herbert and then we have 2023 Topps Heritage Baseball. That's a fairly new product. Uh, that is a hobby box of that. So these are all uh, these are all nice giveaways that we got coming up later tonight. So stay tuned for all of those giveaways. Once again, guys, go ahead and register. Um, for those giveaways using the link above. And we have a, a special announcement. We're doing a special with Market Movers. You guys know Market Movers is the ultimate way to price out sports cards and to track your collection. And last night, Teapot from Market Movers was on the show and he announced that if you sign up now, only tonight, only during the show, for Market Movers using promo code HOLIDAY, you're gonna get 30 days free of Market Movers and then you're gonna get 20% off after that. So it's a great promo code. You can sign it for 30 days, cancel if you don't want to be billed, uh, but you can sign it for 30 days. And we're giving away 10 boxes to different Market Movers members next week. So if you sign up now, you get a chance to, to enter the giveaway for additional Market Movers boxes, just a little add-on to get you guys ready for the holiday season. So what you need to do for that is you need to go to sportscardinvestor.com, Click Market Movers in the main menu bar, and then promo code HOLIDAY gets you 30 days free, 20% off, and you'll be registered for the, the special Market Movers member giveaway. Okay, wow. With that said, we've got another great guest for you. Let's bring on Peter from SGC Grading. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Happy holidays. I'm doing great, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Happy holidays. Now, are you still at work? Are you still there working late tonight? I am. I'm still at the office. Uh, tend to work late, not this late, but happy, happy to do so. Well, we appreciate you grinding. I guess you got to be grinding because SGC grading, every time I look at one of these gem rate reports, which shows how many cards are being graded with every grading company. Every time I see one of these, it seems like you guys are outputting more and more cards every month and continue to climb that uh, board of the top grading companies. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, something we love seeing as well. In fact, it's, it's, you know, it's 
a lot of work goes into that, obviously. You know, processing that many cards is not easy. And especially at SGC, we really pride ourselves on the quality of the product. Uh, we take our craft very seriously. So when you're doing that, that kind of volume, there's certainly a lot of uh, a lot that goes into it. That's for sure. Things are great right now. How many cards are you grading now uh, on a monthly basis? Well, I could tell you today we graded six thousand six hundred and twenty nine cards. Were graded and shipped to. Uh, our collectors. That's a lot of cards. In a single day, you graded 6,629 cards. That, <laughs> no wonder you're at the office late, Peter. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a lot of cards. How, how many people do you have on your team now? What, what is the size of the operation to have to do this? We have a touch under 170 employees, but we are wow. hiring very aggressively currently. Um, anytime we're looking to do anything that we think may bring in more cards, we respond equally by growing the team preemptively because the one thing that we refuse to sacrifice, no matter kind of which direction we want to take things, is the service of the product. Obviously, SGC's turnaround time is one of the, the, the things that really set us apart. And uh, no matter what we do, if it means more cards, it means more cards out the door or turnaround time is moving in the wrong direction. What is the what is the turnaround time now? If someone were if someone hasn't graded with SGC before and they go on your website tonight and and submit a you know submit a grading order, what kind of turnaround can they expect? Uh, they will be expecting about a five and a half business day turnaround time. I can assure everyone that we want that down to one business day. It's easier said than done, but I think five and a half business days for fifteen dollars a card is we're very proud to be offering what we are to the hobby. That's pretty incredible because normally when you know you hear a grading company say our turnaround time is five and a half, you assume the next word is months because that's kind of what we've been accustomed to, five and a half months or three months or four months or six months turnaround time for grading, right? Not five and a half business days. Um, is that what you consider maybe your, your key differentiator to be? How quick you're able to, to turn cards around for people who send them in? Yeah, I think there's a lot of differentiators, that obviously being probably the most blatant and out front for all to see. I mean, everything from the look of our product itself, with obviously the, the black insert and the holder, it really allows us to kind of, kind of frame up each card based on that card shape and size. And as we all know, there are a lot of shapes and size uh, in trading cards, not only on the vintage side of things, but today, you know, we have all kinds of die cuts and, you know, uh, kind of celebratory sets of, of, of the past. So I think the holder as well. Um, I think what I'm most proud of is just who we are as a team. Um, I can say from from firsthand experience, we've you know, I've worked with a, a really tight group of people who have really built this place from the ground up. And uh, I'm extremely proud of the team that we've put together and overall just the way we handle our business. Although, you know, I myself may be a little more front facing, um, you know, there's a, a massive team here that doesn't always get the the public, you know, uh, I guess, love that they deserve. You know, I'm, I'm merely representing the amazing group of people that, as I said, just got out 6,629 cards today. Um, so I think overall what SGC stands for in the hobby, the way that we go about our business, the trust that we take so, so seriously from collectors, um, that's what means the most to us. And I think that when choosing a grading company, that really, really matters because at the end of the day, we're all just kind of referees, you know, uh, uh, judging the game that you all, the collectors, are playing. And I think you want to know kind of who your referee is, and you know, the the fact that they're going to do the job right to the best of their ability. And if anything goes wrong, they're going to own up to that as well and and make that right. So I, I think you know I could go on and on about what makes SGC special, but I think on the whole. That's probably what I'm most proud of. And another thing you've grabbed headlines on this year is the specials you've done around certain products. I know you've got, I think the special is going on still right now for Bowman, is that right? That's correct. We're currently running a 2022 and 2023 Bowman special. And that's just a straight $9 a card. You could give us the one of one super fractor worth $20,000 and it's going to cost you $9 to grade it. We, wow. we love these specials. Um, our community loves these specials. And I think more than anything, um, it, it's a way for us to, you know, in a sense, almost give 
to the hobby. You know, something like that really doesn't exist when you take in all factors into account. And I think um, to provide collectors with a five and a half business day turnaround time for $9 a card, it really almost incentivizes everyone to go look for those Bowman cards, even if they don't currently possess them in their collection. Yeah, yeah, that's that's super cool. So switching gears a little bit, there's been some big news this last week in the hobby about the sale of a 1914 Babe Ruth rookie card. That card sold for $7.2 million on REA auctions, um, and it's in an SGC holder. And, and, and what I find interesting about that is the Hannes Wagner card, which sold for $7.25 million last year, SGC holder. And then, of course, the Mickey Mantle card, which is the number one highest selling card of all time, which sold for $12.6 million last year in an SGC 9.5. So we now have the top selling sports cards in history in SGC holders. Yeah, it's a massive accomplishment. It's something that our entire team is extremely proud of. And I think it speaks to the trust, you know, especially when you look at a card um, like that, that Mantle. For example, if that card was given an SGC four, let's just say, um, the value is incredibly different than in an SGC 9.5. In other words, when you're given a card like the Baltimore News Babe Ruth, the rarity of the card itself, um, that's what, for the most part, creates the value there. You know, we're merely the authenticators and the graders on the condition of that card. But when it comes to the Mantle 9.5, um, you know, a collector paid $12.6 million because SGC and their group of experts basically assessed the card and clearly liked what they saw by awarding a 9.5 grade. So I, as I said, I think it speaks volumes to the trust that uh, the community has in our expertise. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. That's super impressive. So SGC obviously has been known for a long time in the vintage area. More recently, uh, I think the push has been with Ultra Modern, and obviously you've been doing the specials and everything like that, which has really ramped up the Ultra Modern uh, business for you guys. What do you see going forward? What do you see? You know, are you are you placing more and more focus on Ultra Modern? Is is uh, you know vintage still a lot of where the focus is, or what do you what do you want the future to look like for SGC? I think something that I'm very happy to say is that as SGC has made tremendous inroads in modern, and man, if you were around the hobby back in 2019, 2020, you've seen just how much SGC has grown in the modern space. But I think what means a lot to me personally is the fact that we've grown so much in vintage, where we were kind of already such a, you know, a juggernaut name in, in the industry as far as, um, you know, notoriety and trust, like I was saying. So I think what's really special to me is the fact that when we make these so-called pushes, it's not at the behest of, of anything else that we've already accomplished or any of the work that's already been done in other areas. So I think that as we've grown in modern, it really excites me that our vintage strength is is snowballing. I mean, we are really at a, a, a better place than we've been over the last 25 years as far as that's gone. And if you look at our gem rate numbers, we graded 18,000 uh, TCG cards last month. And that number may not you know, be where we want it right now. And it may still, you know, dwarf in size in comparison to, to some of our competitors. However, 18,000 TCG cards is three times higher than the 6,000 we were grading only a few months ago. So again, I think it's really important that as we make these, these pushes in, into certain areas that we're maintaining and growing as well, um, kind of our strengths. Yeah, no, for sure. That's that's super exciting, and certainly the TCG growth is exciting as well. And you also launched a new app a few months ago, right? What what was that all about? We did. So we launched the first ever SGC mobile app. Uh, it took a little longer than we wanted because we really wanted to make sure that we got a few things right on the nose when we released it. It still has some some improvements to be made to it, no doubt about that. But the app basically makes submitting as seamless as submitting cards to a grading company could really possibly be. We've actually joked internally about putting out some kind of promotional video where we're timing someone, kind of send in a 10 card order on the app and it takes you know no more than five minutes. It, it's really a breeze. And in addition to that, it, it really offers collectors kind of an easy route to our cert lookup, which is vital, obviously, to you know security and 
whenever buying a card, you want to check on that, as well as a cool My Cards feature where you can kind of, you know, take your collection everywhere in inserting your SGC cards in your collection kind of in the, uh, in the app itself. Awesome. Well, that's exciting, Peter. I'm looking forward to all of that. Uh, innovation continuing next year. I'm sure you got a lot of big things on the horizon that we'll find out about soon. Uh, but for now, hope your year ends well and, and happy holidays to you. Thank you, Jeff. I am greatly looking forward to next year and I appreciate you having me. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. All right, always good to see people doing entrepreneurial things in this space. Peter is one of those people for sure. Uh, SGC grading, certainly, certainly making waves in this space. And actually coming up in a little while, we're going to have Joe Davis from Got Baseball Cards, who's a huge bulk submitter to SGC as well as to PSA. Um, we're going to have him on, and he has a grading special for you guys tonight through his bulk submission service. So we're going to talk about that uh, in just a little while. If you want a little sneak preview of that, you go to sportscardinvestor.com, click grading in the main menu bar. But we're going to talk about that later tonight. This is uh, a hobby box of Panini Black, a nice little product, but a product that can have some big cards inside. And this and all of our giveaways tonight are brought to you by our friends at Whatnot and our friends at Midwest Cards, our official retail sponsor. And once again, guys, enter the giveaways if you haven't already by clicking the link that is pinned to the top of the YouTube chat because we will be selecting our winners in about 30, 30 minutes or so. About 30 minutes, we're going to be picking the winners and giving them out here on the show. So stay tuned for that. All right, before I bring the next guest on tonight, I got to, I got to see what's going on in the chat here. How's everybody doing out there? How are you guys enjoying the show so far this evening? Hopefully you're having a good time. Chad Penn, appreciate you. Um, uh, oh, we've got, uh, we've got Sports Car Dad in the, in the uh, chat tonight. He was on last night. The Mandalorian is in the chat tonight. What's going on? Jay is in the chat. Uh, Jason H. is in the chat tonight. Valcorp Photography, AK Ninja, um, Brandon Galloway. What's going on? Ernest Walker and Don Milliken and Meta Sports Cards. Um, we got lots of people. A slight revision in the chat tonight. We got Jay. We got BJ Campbell making noise. JC Smoke, The Reg. Um, Eddie Alves, Norman Bowen. What's up, everybody? Oh, it's coming fast and furious now. I appreciate all you guys watching tonight. Oh, I got a Go Gators from Larry Weldon. Go Gators indeed, Larry Weldon. Appreciate you watching, uh, watching tonight and supporting the show. Okay. Let's bring on our next guest. Actually, before we do, one final thing. We're going to go live on Whatnot here in about 40 minutes, and Whatnot has given us another couple hundred of these absolute football boxes. To uh, We're selling these tonight at half the normal price. These are 15 bucks each for an absolute football. You can get kabooms out of these things for 15 bucks for a shot at a kaboom. Nice little stocking stuffer. But here's the cool thing. We're putting a code and we're putting a link in the YouTube chat right now. If you don't have a Whatnot account, and if you click that link and sign up, Whatnot will put $10 free in your account. So this box, 15. this box, oh, they're giving them $15 free tonight? 15. The boxes are going to be free? Yeah. Just have to pay for shipping. Whoa. I didn't even know that. If you, okay, so this is a special link we're putting in the YouTube chat right now. We'll put it again in the YouTube chat. If you click that link and sign up for a Whatnot account, a new Whatnot account, and you then go onto our Cards HQ stream here, when we go on in about 45 minutes onto Whatnot, and you buy one of these boxes, it's going to be free. You just have to pay for shipping because Whatnot's going to hook you up with $15 free in your account, and these boxes are 15 bucks. So it's going to be free. So we essentially get a free blaster box, a free chance of, of getting kabooms tonight by clicking that link to sign up for Whatnot that we just put into the YouTube chat. All right. Let's get going with our next guest tonight. I'm pleased to invite Cameron from BC7 Cards onto the show. Cameron, how you doing, sir? Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Jeff. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, man. It's great to see you again. And, you know, I was thinking back to when we first met, it was the Miami Card Show, right back in uh, 2021. Is that right? Yeah, it was at the Courtside Card Show. Uh, it was actually a crazy story. I'll let you have me on the Jeff Wilson Show to get the, uh, the full story behind it. But uh, I remember you were actually doing a 96 Top Chrome basketball break live on YouTube. I think it was one of your first Whatnot live streams as well, mm -hmm. the Kobe Box. 
and you happen to shout me out randomly and said, hey, BC7 cards, if you're going to be at the courtside card show, come say hi. So I grabbed my ragtag Sony microphone, my nasty little, you know, phone tripod, brought it with me, asked you for an uh, interview, and uh, you were nice enough to accept. So I guess you could say the rest was history. <laughs> That's awesome. That was the first card show that I went to post pandemic it is it's crazy thinking about like the sports card world over the last few years and how things have changed you know i started the show i started sports card investor back in 2019 pre-pandemic and then of course the pandemic hits right as we're really starting to grow and market movers had just launched we're starting to get our first group of market mover subscribers market movers had just launched in the middle of february of 2020 and then the and our and our YouTube's growing, and then the pandemic hits. You know, right in the middle of March 2020, and everything stops. The, you know, this the the and I, I'm literally like, oh my God! I just built this whole entire product, Market Movers, and I've been working my tail off to grow this YouTube channel, and the pandemic hits, and sports shuts down, and I. I'm worried. I'm worried. I see. I'm starting to see people unsubscribe from market movers, cancel their market mover subscriptions. I just put a lot of money into building that, and I'm like, oh my god. And then, of course, you know, we go through it, but you know, that only lasted. That sorrow only lasted for a couple of weeks, and then we saw, you know, the sports card hobby start to explode, and and our viewership at Sports Card Investor started to explode, and everybody resigned up for market movers. Even the people who canceled all resigned up for market movers, because, and then market movers started to explode with people signing up for it. And but it was a weird year because then it was like we had an entire year where the hobby was hot, we we're doing the content, but there were no card shows, not meeting anyone in person, not experiencing any of it in person until the first one that I went to, which was that Miami courtside card show. And that was, I believe, right at the end of April, uh, beginning of May, uh, 2021, end of April, 2021, that was. So that was the first card show I went to. That was the first card show I ever vlogged, um, you know, showed up with a camera and met you there. And so look at that. And that was just a few years ago. And uh, now here we are sitting at the end of 2023, just two and a half years later. It's crazy to think that was two and a half, only, it's wild. <laughs> Everything's been wild. Everything's been absolutely wild, but it's awesome. Um, so anyway, we had that interaction back at the courtside card show. Now tell tell everybody kind of what you do today and how you went from there to where you are now for people who might not be familiar with you and BC7, big C7 cards. Yeah, so I mean, I, I just do content creation. I'm Actually, I'm a full-time engineer. You know, I'm an electrical engineer by trade. And so it's kind of like if I were to have my own sports card investor disc, uh, YouTube channel, it would be you know, by day, I'm an electrical engineer. By night, I invest in sports cards. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's been great to be able to kind of grow a following and show off my collection. I really just wanted to show off my collection. I started in 2018 on YouTube and Instagram, just started to basically just show off mail days and, you know, just little things that I got in the mail, little things I had in my collection. Um, and it didn't really take off, honestly, until when I met you, then I ended up being a moderator in your Discord server. Uh, which is which an awesome experience and being able to meet Doug and Teapot and the, the whole crew. Uh, uh, Card Optics, shout out to him and you know appreciate everything he he's been do, he did in the server as well. Uh, and then from there, you know, I got to do a couple videos with you. Then here comes the Hobby Slam show, and I had never been. I had never the courtside show was the first hobby uh, like card show I'd ever been to. So Hobby Slam was the second show I'd ever been to. First card show that I ever was a vendor at. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a series of YouTube videos showcasing kind of my road to hobby slam so that's what i did and nobody knew about it maybe like i think the top video has like 150 views i didn't care you know i just wanted to to start and you start somewhere everyone has to start somewhere and so i i put in the work i helped you out in the discord server worked on the uh worked on my own videos and my own content and then eventually what happened was i got to partner with some amazing brands i got to partner with hobby slam for hobby slam 2 uh, I, did, I was the official content creator for the show, running around like a chicken with my head cut off doing <laughs> content the entire show. Uh, I got to partner with Jason's Jet Breakers, which they have very kindly provided a box to give away tonight, 2023 certified football. Make sure to go follow them on Drip Shop Live. They're great five to six days a week. And also Rare Edition, which, oh, by the way, hold on a second. I forgot. I'm so there you go. You're in the mood now. There you yeah, go, Cameron. Now we can start the interview. No, man, it, I have to, if I could match 20% of Ryan's jolliness from yesterday, then I'll be happy. 
Um, but no, they, they, so Rare, Rare Edition has also supplied some giveaways, got five slabs that are going to go to some people watching today. And it's crazy what they're doing over there. They got videos and cards now. You can scan this thing and actually go and see the, you know, a video that you uploaded to the slab. It's, it's crazy stuff. I'll show you in a second. But it's just been so much fun doing live content, showing people, you know, card shows, showing people card shops, meeting a bunch of bunch of awesome people making so many friends in the hobby it's, that's what it's all about for sure and uh before before i get you out of here a couple things real quick you have a promotion for rare edition as well that you wanted to mention yeah so if you use code uh, i believe it's uh i have to double check on it. i believe i think it was, it's big uh, i got it as big c7 sei 23 all one word no underscores big yeah. c7 sei 23 yeah you got it get your hands on some rare edition slides make sure you will get uh, $20 off one time uh, order in, in at rareedition.com. Uh, make sure to take advantage of that because you know you could put all your favorite cards in these slabs. These are Gorilla Glass in case. They're beautiful. You could literally upload a custom video to the slab, 300 megabyte limit, uh, and show off like a breaker moment. Or there's so many different options with that. And you know some of the cards that are you know sentimental to me. I love getting them in rare edition slabs. I would say this one real quick before I go because this is. I'm going to try not to choke up saying this, but I actually had this card at Rare Edition uh, while my, it was actually my, my very good childhood friend, he, his, uh, his dad sold me this card. And then while this was at Rare Edition, he actually passed away. So mm -hmm. uh, I actually tried to give this back to him and he said, no, he would want you to have this. So this is one of those cards that will never go out of my collection ever. Um, you know, he was just, he was an awesome guy. And this, this is just one of those, one of the things that reminds me that it's so much more than just, you know, uh, pictures on cardboard, you know, there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's so much more to it. Um, and I've just been so blessed to be able to have these collaborations with companies like Rare Edition, like Jason Jeff Breakers, like Hobby Slam and only going forward from here, you know, it's, it's crazy that, you know, I started last year, at like maybe like 250 followers on Instagram and now I'm close to around 3,500. So if you guys can get me to 4,000 tonight, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. So follow Cameron, big C7 underscore cards. Um, and uh, check out our Discord, by the way. Cameron's still the administrator of the Discord, Sports Card Investor Discord, completely free. Cameron administrates it. You can get there by going to sportscardinvestor.com, and under the community link in the main menu bar is the Discord. All right, we got to get out of here, Cameron. Happy holidays to you, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Oh, hold on. I got I to gotta gotta do the Tim McInerney uh, uh, exit. I'm a PSA 10. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right, that is Cameron, Big C7 Cards, and those giveaways that he mentioned tonight, the 2023 Panini Certified Football Hobby Box, courtesy of Jason's Jet Breakers. By the way, Jason's Jet Breakers, Florida Gator, good guy. And uh, the Rare Edition Slabs, they have been added to the giveaway tonight. So if you fill that giveaway form out, we're going to pick our giveaway winners now in like 15 minutes. So fill that last chance to fill that giveaway form out. Uh, we got a great guest we're going to next. I'm excited for this. A long time. He's been part of all of these virtuals. Joe Davis from Got Baseball Cards. Hey, Joe. How you doing? Hey, Jeff. Doing great. Thanks for having me back. Merry Christmas to you. You got a, quite the display uh, behind you there. Yeah, you know, I got to have cards. I've got a lot of different offices, but got to have cards wherever I'm at. So. Yeah, that's a really nice display. I like that. I see, it uh, looks like I see a Dr. J rookie uh, over your shoulder there. Oh, yeah. One of my favorites as a kid. Yeah, is that a Larry Bird, uh, the Larry Bird Magic Johnson Dr. J, a couple below maybe? Yeah, I be uh, believe that's the, uh, that's actually just the Magic and uh, Irving. Sorry. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I could, I could only see little things, yeah. but I'm guessing based on some of the patterns. Um, but that's awesome, Joe. So you've been part of these. We've done these virtuals now for a few years, and I got to know you. You were the – so Joe actually this is a cool backstory. Joe was, Joe was the first person that I got to know in the sports card hobby when I got back into it. So I had I had gotten back into it back in 2018. And uh, but hadn't gone to any card shops. I started buying cards online and I, I was, you know, buying cards online, reading online, consuming content. And then it was actually Father's Day of 2019 
uh, my wife said to me, she's like, you, you've become obsessed with sports cards. You're, you know, you've been, you've been, uh, uh, you know, getting all these boxes in the mail. And she said, you know, for Father's Day, we're going to, I'm, you know, she had planned out. She's like, I'm going to drive you around to the local card shops in Atlanta so that you could actually get to experience card shops as well. And I was thrilled and we ended up in Joe's shop and Joe and I ended up chatting a little bit that day and then a little bit more. I came back a few weeks later and I was like, hey, I want to learn more from you. I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. And, um, and then Joe was on a lot of our early videos, uh, videos such as uh, like baseball card uh, collecting and investing 101 and, and uh, how to get good deals at card shows. A lot of those early videos we did featured you. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a great learning experience, and I, lo I always love educating young collectors and, and those getting back into the hobby as you were at that time. So, a uh, lot lot of good memories. We've got to share a lot of great content together for sure. We did. It was fun, and one of the things that we've done a lot of content on over the years is grading, and yep. we do that because you're one of the biggest bulk grading submitters in the land. So, for people who don't know what bulk grading submitting is or maybe don't understand why they would use a service like yours for their grading needs tell them more about that sure thing yeah we've been happy to partner with sports card investor for years now on our bulk grading program and we make it jeff we have not even got to talk lately about some of the uh, uh revisions and refinements we've done to simplify it even more for your viewers tonight uh, for those who want to submit through us, uh, one of the biggest advantages is the fact that we offer the expert pre-screening. I've personally been in the hobby uh, since the late 70s and full-time since the late 80s. Uh, we started being uh, a submitter with PSA back in 1998, as well as with SGC. I saw you had Peter on. I think the world of him and, and SGC as well, and we work closely with both companies. And uh, they make up the majority of the submissions we handle. We process uh, thousands and thousands of submissions every month. Uh, we offer uh, screening for a, a small fee of $2, uh, but we do all the work. And so if your submitters want to go on sportscardinvestor.com, just click on the grading tab. And then uh, at the very top of the grading page, there's a, a link that says, start your submission. And literally inside of 60 seconds, they can give us all the information we need. And they all they've got to provide is name, email, phone, and the number of cards they want to submit to us and send them off and then we take it from there so they don't have to do any forms anymore they don't have to fill any of the paperwork uh and also something we're going to be offering we're offering right now through sunday for all of all of the viewers here uh our lowest pricing of the year which is uh, 19 dollars with psa 15 dollars with sgc with no minimums so uh usually you have to you know hit a quantity with us to get those that kind of pricing but no minimums um you can just Tell us the number of the cards you want to submit, fill out that quick form inside of 60 seconds and send your cards off to us. And the other bonus is for those who submit 20 or more, we don't even bill you for the grading until January. So you've got delayed billing. Uh, with SGC is turning the cards so quickly, you'll have them back before January, probably at the rate they're going. But uh, that, so that applies more to PSA. But uh, we have been doing it longer than any other group submitter. We work with thousands and thousands of collectors across the globe. Um, the other big benefit with us, I'll, I'll show you quickly, We've got a nice maze rookie here. Uh, that yeah, just, very beautiful. That one just came back. That submitter then got the card back from us for grading and then turned it over through our consignment program uh, because many of our submitters like to grade with us, get the cards back and then hand them right over to us uh, so that we can sell them for them. So uh as we tell people you can send us a raw card and you're going to get a check back from us because we'll handle everything in between so another great thing another uh thing we offer that some group submitters do not yeah it's it's a super nice service guy so if you're thinking about sending your cards off for grading and if you're if you're not super experienced on your own as to how to evaluate your cards or if you just simply want to save time that's where somebody like Joe's uh, service is just so incredibly helpful. And you know, the prices you get, in many, in many cases, they're, they're cheaper, especially through P, you know, if you're gonna do a PSA submission, because 
You got to join PSA's Collectors Club if you want their cheapest rates, but you don't have to do that. If you send your cards to Joe, it's going to be $19 a card. You don't have to pay for the PSA Collectors Club. So that's another yep. perk of, of going through uh, Joe's service as well. Yeah, and uh, we work with, again, thousands across the globe, and uh, we, we try to handle handle all the, the confusing things that can happen with cards. Like, they come in and, and uh, we prevent cards from, like counterfeits being sent off, we catch that on the front end, you know, cards that are altered. We often catch that on the front end. So we save submitters thousands of dollars. I can't tell you how many counterfeit Jordans we've had submitted this year that we caught before they paid hundreds of dollars to PSA to have them graded. Um, but you know, we, uh, we pride ourselves in helping collectors. Uh, we, we spend hours every day on emails answering questions about, you know, collectors cards that they send to us and helping advise them where they should send them, what speed they should send them at, et cetera. Yeah, there you go. And by the way, we're seeing some great comments of people who have used your service up on the screen right now. And guys, to, to use Joe's service and take advantage of Joe's special offer tonight, you want to go to sportscardinvestor.com and click the grading tab in the main menu bar. It's super easy. It's super easy. Just go to sportscardinvestor.com, click grading, and the submission process, only a few things to fill out. And then you ship your cards and you will be all set. And uh, Joe, of course, you do much more than grading. You've yeah. got your own uh, shop here in Atlanta, and yep. uh, uh, you know you're you're on the uh, east side of Atlanta. My new shop's gonna be on the west side of Atlanta. So yep. so uh, you know I'm I'm trying to be the best card shop on the west side of Atlanta, but you're definitely the best card shop, you know, for the east side of Atlanta. And you've been there for, gosh, you've been there now for what about uh, close to 30, 30, 30 gosh, years. 30, 32 years. Yeah. That's absolutely incredible. That's wow. What a, what a history. What is, what's hot right now in, in your card shop? You know, a lot of, I, I saw you had Rob, Rob on earlier. He was talking about the low priced tops products have been very popular, like the holiday boxes and the Chrome update, uh, the archives and the archives collector tens. Those have been, you know, factory sets this time of year, we sell a ton of factory sets at our store in Loganville. Uh, also, the uh, the new elite football has been very hot, as well as the new hoops because it has the first Wimbenyama NBA you know cards in the Spurs uniform. So yeah, they've all been uh, very good sellers. Uh, the retail store is incredibly busy, and uh, yeah, I look forward to welcoming you as a retailer here in the Metro Atlanta area. And uh, we, we we're going to encourage collectors to fly in and hit two great stores all in one trip. There you go. Now you got two tourist destinations to right. visit when you come into Atlanta. Right. And Joe's giving away 10 free grading submissions tonight. That is being added to the giveaway, and we're going to be announcing the winners here in just a couple of minutes. Joe, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for joining the virtual holiday. Merry Christmas to you, Jeff. Thanks so much for having me on. Appreciate it, everyone. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to let everybody know uh, once again that we've got those, those giveaways. This is We have one final guest. We're about to bring on Jeremy and Lee from Sports Card Live in a minute. We've got one final guest, and then, um, and then we're announcing the giveaway winners tonight. So, by the way, two batches of giveaway winners tonight. The first batch we're announcing here in 10 minutes. The second batch is going to be given away over on Whatnot. So we're going to have Jeremy on. We're going to announce the giveaway winners, and then we're going to move over to Whatnot for the second half of the show. And over on Whatnot, we have... What do we have? 26 boxes we're giving away tonight on Whatnot. 26 boxes we're giving away on Whatnot tonight. And we're selling a bunch of cards. And don't forget about this special promotion taking place tonight only. These blaster boxes of Absolute Football are free. You only have to pay for shipping, but what you have to do is you have to sign up for a Whatnot account using the link in the YouTube chat. Kelly, can we get that one in the YouTube chat again? We're putting the link right now in the YouTube chat. That's a special link to sign up to what for Whatnot that will give you $15 in free credit in your Whatnot account. And then you're going to join us on the Cards HQ stream here in a few minutes. And you'll be able to get this box for free until they sell out. Uh, because your, uh, your $15 in free credit is going to allow you to buy that box for $15, which is half the normal price. Uh, all you have to do is pay for shipping. Uh, lots of fun tonight, guys. Um, Kelly, are we ready to get the next guest on? Great. We're going to get our next guest on, guys. Then we're doing the giveaway right after that. You got like two more minutes to enter before we close the giveaway form. The giveaway link's on the top of the chat. Here we go. Let's welcome Jeremy Lee of Sports Card Live.
Jeremy, how you doing? Welcome to the virtual holiday. I'm, I'm good, Jeff. Thanks for having me. It's a tough spot to you got to follow Joe Davis and right before the giveaways. So I don't know how, how the crowd's going to like this so much. It's like being the speaker right before uh, the lunch break or something like that. You know, everyone's ready to go get their meal. No, I'm sure people are are appreciative of having you in the slot tonight, Jeremy, because you're you're one of the you're probably the hardest working content creator in the hobby. You have dedicated so many of your nights, so many of your prime hours, including your Saturday night hours, your prime hours, you've dedicated those hours to the hobby for what about three and a half years now that you've been doing your sports card live show? Yeah, I started started in April 2020. So yeah, we're coming up on almost four years, uh, almost 500 live streams. And um, it's it's been a blast. Je I mean, you know how it is making content. It's fun. You get to meet so many people and uh, and share your thoughts on things. So yeah, it's been a great run so far. What I like, what, what I like, one of the things I like about the content that you produce, Jeremy, is you have a kind of a very specific niche that you've created for yourself. You've got a very specific type of content and that's an interview style show. You do long interviews and you've added diversity. You now do things like um, uh, you know auction watch parties and everything like that as well. But your bread and butter is this kind of long form inter interview style live show. And when you started doing this, I think you were really the first kind of show of its type in the hobby. Uh, maybe I mean I, I think so. I uh, yeah, it's um, that's my Saturday night show. I call it. I refer to it as kind of like my flagship show. I I'll, this Saturday will be episode two hundred and six or two hundred and seven, and I've had on over two hundred and fifty uh, unique people. You've been on a few times, Jeff. Your team has been on, and uh, and then it's almost three years ago now. I started doing these live auction watch parties, and I've turned that into. Uh, so, you know, a, a service where I provide it to several different auction companies in the space now, and it's a lot of fun. I, I have a Sunday night show, I have a Monday night show, those are regular. And then, you know, a few times a month, I have other shows for companies that don't necessarily have a weekly auction. And so, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I, my Monday night show, I call it the the most action in, in all of hobby content because I, I literally called, call, I, I'm, it's like when you go to a sporting event or you listen to a sporting event or you watch one, there's someone providing the commentary on the action. I provide the commentary on auction action and uh, Monday night show is called MC Mondays Live. And, uh, you know, it's one auction per minute for about 75 minutes. And it's it's a lot of fun to, to call the action and uh, and the viewers love it, too. So, yeah, thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a lot of fun to watch. You've had such a variety of, of guests on your show over the last you know three and a half years. You interview different people every single week. You know def, different interesting people. Um, who has maybe uh, what's what's one guest that maybe maybe surprised you in terms of you you didn't think you know it wasn't maybe one of the top name people in the hobby or something like that, and you weren't sure about the interview, but you got done with it. And you're like, man, that was that was a really great interview. You know it, that's a great question. I can tell you just about, I mean, if I have a, a lesser known guest that comes on the show, you know, I, I don't really know uh, how the audience is going to respond. And maybe, you know, I, I plan with all my guests a few days ahead of time. I mean, I, I like to get to know my guests before we do a show. It, it just makes for a much more uh, smooth production. And sometimes I'm not, sure what to, I'm not sure what to expect. And I might even say to my wife, you know, like, I'm not sure about tonight. And then, you know, as it as it goes, I go back upstairs. After she says, "How was your show?" I go, "It was actually it was, it was awesome." So, the ones though to answer your question are the collector episodes. Like I bring on industry insiders, you know, entrepreneurs, other content creators, passionate collectors, you know, and you know people from just the average collector to uh, to some of the most uh, you know powerful people in the hobby, I guess. And it's those collector episodes that my audience really loves and says they want to see more of. So uh, I, I can, Jeff, it's hard to name one person, one guest. I, I can just say that um, I've had, I've had, like, like I said, out of 206 or seven episodes so far, me on less than one hand, can I count those that I maybe was less than happy with? Yeah, no, that's awesome. It's been a great, a great variety of episodes as well. 
Uh, Jeremy, I, I can't but help notice, it looks like you've got the famous uh, Wayne Gretzky Opeachy. Is that the Opeachy? That's the Opeachy uh, Gretzky rookie there. It's it's the you know what it might be the tops because the the Opeachy he has a yellow dot right here on the shoulder and that is not present on this shirt and this but if you look at this Jeff you can tell this is a trim a, definitely a trim card those borders are way too narrow but it's uh it's just a yeah it's a Gretzky rookie shirt and um, I thought that I would represent uh, hockey and the most iconic hockey card while I'm on with you tonight. Well, and it's fitting because you reside up there in Canada, and Canada is home of the Sport Card Expo, which is for 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 a lot of our probably a lot of our audience has never been to that show, but it is one of the best sports card shows that takes place anywhere in the world every single year. Um, it's up in Canada, uh, up in Toronto, a couple of times a year, and then they do a version in Edmonton, I believe, as well. I've not been to that one, but the Toronto show, I can speak from firsthand experience, is fantastic. I didn't make it to the one this last November, but I saw photos of this on Instagram. Jeremy, it looked like complete and utter chaos with the number of people that were there. Yeah, it was it was, uh, it was was good mayhem in the room. It, that show has grown. It's now the same size as the National was pre-pandemic, uh, square footage wise. So unbelievable. Saturday from like 11 till 2.30, 3 o'clock, it was hard to move around some parts of the show. It was the the energy, the vibe, the just like, it was all good. It was, everyone was having a great time. Lots of transactional volume. You know, as everybody knows, prices are down from the peak, of course, but that just makes cards. I heard one of your guests say this earlier, that just makes cards uh, available to more people. More cards are now within people's price range. And I think that's a good thing. I think, you know, the hobby has always been a cyclical uh, phenomenon. And I think that, um, you know, we're in a, in a stage now where, again, people can acquire more cards than they could have if they came into the hobby in 2020 or 2021. And, you know, maybe that's uh, gonna just spark another cycle the other way eventually. And I'm not calling the future or anything, but I just think it's, I think we're in a good place right now in the hobby. I agree. And you know, it's super encouraging to see the attendance at that show and other shows that I've been to. I mean, I was at the Philly card show this last weekend. It was pretty busy at the Philly show. And I've been to a lot of shows this year, you know, all over the country. And and as you said, despite the fact that, that prices are down, traffic at these card shows, I mean, the national set, it's all time attendance record this year, which is amazing to think about. But in many ways, the fact that prices are down may actually only be helping that fact because now it is a little more affordable for people to, you know, uh, buy a card that they that they really like and that has some rarity and significance to it. But they're not having to break the bank the way that they would have had to a couple of years ago. I completely agree. And it, it, this applies to all price points, cards that we're selling for a million dollars two years ago we're now selling for hundred and fifty thousand dollars so that's way up there i mean that what's that point zero zero one percent of people really play in that area but cards that were twenty thousand dollars you can now get for four five six thousand dollars and cards that might have been 200 you can get for 50 to 75. of course this doesn't apply to all cards but it does apply to a lot of them and i think that that's why we're seeing so many people at the shows and a lot of young people at the shows the expo in Toronto was filled with young people. That was only about three weeks ago. And I mean, I just came out of that show feeling so just excited about 2024 and beyond for the hobby. And I mean, it's a it's a hockey centric show, as you well know, probably about 80 percent hockey. Uh, but hockey collectors are passionate and they they kind of to an extent ignore what might be going on everywhere else in the hobby. And they just they they love their car. We love our cards. I mean, I collect hockey, basketball, baseball, and football, but hockey's my my number one sport to collect. And uh, it's like it's tough to let go of cards when when you do need to let them let go of them sometimes. And I think a lot of collectors, uh, Canadian collectors, hockey collectors, we're very. I think we're I think we're the second most passionate collectors of a sport behind only baseball. Is my perspective. I would completely agree. Getting getting to go to the Sport Card Expo, the passion of hockey collectors is is really high. I mean, it's really unmatched in many ways. So that's that's really awesome. All right, Jeremy. Before I get you out of here, you uh, you added to the giveaway tonight. We're about to announce the winner here in just a second. Uh, tell us about what you added to the giveaway. Yeah. So I'm affiliated with Tag Grading out of Los Angeles. Uh, the 
automated grading company and um, they want to put up a 10 card grading package to one of your one of your viewers tonight. Awesome. We appreciate that. Thank you very much, Jeremy. And for everyone watching who maybe hasn't caught an episode of Sports Card Live yet, tell them how they can do that. Yeah, the, my YouTube channel is called Sports Cards Live. It's uh, it, the I don't have a logo uh, handy, but it's a, a neon sign that says Sports Cards Live in it. And um, I'm not I don't have as many viewers as Dustin had, Jeff, so I could use some help, too. I saw last <laughs> night you got Dustin over 20,000. Congratulations to him. I'm just over 6,000 subscribers with my long form videos. But uh, Sports Cards Live is the YouTube channel. And on Instagram, I am, well, it's right under my name there. I see Jay Lee underscore Sports Cards Live. There you go. Awesome, Jeremy. Well, definitely check out Jeremy. Go subscribe to Sport Car Sports Card Live because it is, it is definitely worth a watch. Appreciate you, Jeremy, and uh, happy holidays to you. Happy holidays to you, your team, everybody watching. Thanks for having me. Third year in, the, in a row, Jeff. It's, uh, it's, it's been fun. Thanks again. It's a pleasure having you on. Talk soon. All right, this is the time we've all been waiting for, everybody. We get to give away all of the prizes. So to help me with that, I'm going to bring on Ryan from my Cards HQ team. Let's bring him on set. All right, welcome back to set, Ryan. Hey, Jeff. I'm going to check, uh, I want to check what's going on here in the chat tonight. I want to see who's excited about winning a prize right now. It looks like Oscar Torres, Astronap, Jason H., Big Max, Willie Keith, J uh, J uh, Daniel Lucas, he's ready to go. Uh, all these guys are ready to go. Austin Clark's ready to go. Rambo Rips is ready to go tonight. Uh, we've got Hunter Easley, Charles Thompson, Dakota Spivey. All of these folks are ready to go. Drew Onoloff is ready to go. SPN Clan. Grayson Tappy says, let's go. Let's go indeed. Let's give away some prizes tonight. We're going to show the winners on the screen. There's a couple more. We've been showing some of these boxes we're giving away. we got Hobby Box of NBA Hoops. What is that one? Topps Holiday, Mega Box. All of this tonight, courtesy of Midwest Cards. Um, our official retail sponsor, MidwestCards.com and whatnot. In a moment, in, in like... Oh, here they are. We're doing it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first batch of winners tonight. You can see the names of the winners on the screen there. That is the first half of the email address. So if you registered tonight uh, with, uh, with the email address, we'll scroll down here so you can see all of the names. That's the first half of the email address. If that's your email address, you're a winner tonight, and we are going to send you an email uh, with to get your shipping address. So expect an email from us here within the next 24 hours to capture your shipping address so we can send you your prize. Now, if your name is not on this list, do not fret because this is only half of the giveaways that we have tonight. The other half of the giveaways we're going to give away over on Whatnot here starting in just a minute. We're going to cut over to Whatnot and we're going to do those giveaways. Before we do that, I want to remind everybody of just a couple of things. First of all, the different, different promotions we had tonight, very special, stand-up displays, 20% off everything on their website, all of these awesome stand-up display stands, and that was with promo code VIRTUAL2023 on the stand-up displays website. Second of all, the special offer on grading submissions, that offer from Joe Davis at GotBaseballCards.com. If you go to SportsCardInvestor.com and click grading in the main menu bar and start your submission, you'll automatically get that offer uh, as part of that. I also want to remind everybody about our special Market Movers offer. Tw uh, free 30 days of Market Movers by going to SportsCardInvestor.com, clicking Market Movers in the main menu bar, and it's promo code HOLIDAY for 30 days of free market movers. And then finally, Whatnot is giving everybody $15 free in their account. If you create a new Whatnot account to buy one of these absolute blasters with, it gives you one of these absolute blasters for free. And that link is, uh, we're pasting it once again in the YouTube chat right now. So use that special Whatnot link to get your $15 free and to get a blaster free tonight. Okay. Ryan, you ready to go sell some cards? I'm excited to sell cards. I'm excited to give away some of these boxes. I can't wait to rip this definitive at the end of the night. Yeah, Topps Definitive. We're gonna give away Topps Definitive over on YouTube, or over on Whatnot, I should say, right now. So we're gonna put, uh, you, you can use that link in the, in the uh, chat 
to get yourself over to whatnot. And and we're also going to put the actual show link there as well, and we're going to have it on the screen here. Let's get over to whatnot. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Appreciate you guys. Happy holidays. We'll see you on whatnot right now. Tonight, oh man, Carter, 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 Carter. We've got giveaways tonight, fast and furious. This is going to be a wild little bit of time here, Carter. Uh, tonight, for the next hour and a half here on Whatnot, as part of our virtual holiday card show at Sports Card Investor and Cards HQ, we are giving all kinds of stuff away. You ready? Oh, we got some cool stuff. And hey, you guys got to stick around to the end because we're going to rip this 2023. Tops definitive live for one of you guys tonight. That's insane. That is a really, really yeah. nice, expensive hobby box yeah. that is being given away free to somebody here on whatnot. We've already started our first giveaway of the night. It's 2023 Optic UFC. You can see it here on the screen. This is a sealed box of Optic UFC. This is one of 26 boxes that we're giving away here on whatnot over the course of the next hour and a half so uh you're going to want to be part of all these giveaways we're going to draw the winner for this one in just a minute you are you ready to uh you ready yeah to here in one, one second but we gotta say the blasters are flying we're are they almost sold out already we're, we're, we've already sold over half okay guys so if you want uh before we hit the giveaway winner on this box I'll, i want to tell everybody if you want one of these absolute football blasters they are in the shop right now, these are $15, half of the retail price of $30. They're $15 in our shop right now here on uh, Whatnot. You just got to click that little store icon in the lower right, the little shopping cart icon. They're flying, Jeff. We're about to be under 100. We're okay. Close. There's, there's, we're going to sell out of these in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, you got to so, get them now. Yeah, anyone who's coming in here who just registered for Whatnot and you're trying to get one of these absolute football blasters, they are almost sold out. We have uh, less than 100, less than 80 to go. They're, they're almost. Yeah, we're at, we're at 100 right now. 100 right now. Oh, now it's, it's, it's flying. It's yeah. 80. They're All about right. to be sold out any second. All right, guys. We're about to be sold out of these. Maybe 50. 50 left. All right. We just sold 50 of these in the last 30 <laughs> seconds. We're at 40. 40 left. They're, guys. they're about to be gone. 30 left. Okay. We're about out. We're about out. That was, that was, oh, we're about to be at 20. Under 20. 10. Okay. Okay. Five. And they're gone. Okay. Wow. Thank that's, you guys. Thank you. That's incredible. I that is unbelievable. Yeah. We just sold through hundreds of absolute football yeah. blasters. Four hundred blasters. Four hundred absolute football blasters in a matter of like a minute. Yeah. Shout out whatnot. Everyone give some big thanks for whatnot in the chat. Yeah, that's awesome that they did that tonight. We appreciate mm -hmm. all of you guys. Hey, let's go ahead and give away this uh, Optic Donruss uh, hobby box. Let's you ready do to it. pick our winner here? Yeah. Awesome. This is just one of 26 giveaways we are doing during the Cardiac of Kemba. The show. Cardiac Kemba. Congratulations, there we Cardiac go. Kemba. All right. Well, we want to, we want to, we got lots of giveaways, 26 giveaways tonight here on Whatnot, but we want to sell some cards as well. So, how is this going to work, Carter? Well, let's run some auctions, Jeff. But we're, so we're, we'll start with some regular auctions. We'll get some sun death later. We're going to get do giveaways all throughout the night, every couple minutes or so, every couple cards. And by the way, this, what you're seeing tonight is a preview of our new Cards HQ shop because we're actually opening up Cards HQ at the end of January. And what you're seeing, this type of show right here, we're going to be doing these shows every single night at Cards HQ with this setup, 
broadcasting live on whatnot. And we actually have multiple setups at Cards HQ. We got all kinds of cool setups. You're going to have to wait to see all of it, but lots of good stuff. So this is just kind of a little preview stream tonight to give people a taste of what will be the future of selling cards uh, here at Sports Card Investor and Cards HQ. Oh, yeah, it's going to be sick. Let's get the first auction started here. Awesome. This is a cool card. Green Wave, Manny Machado. Manny Machado, out of, Green Wave. Yeah, out of 99. Okay. PSA 10. Card number 60 of 99, you can see right there. PSA 10 of the Green Wave. Yeah, that's a cool card. You can see how that shows up there. PSA 10. That Just signed a big extension cool. last year. You did. You did. Exciting ball player. You think the Padres may be a little disappointing this year. You think they're going to be back next year? Man, it's good. Uh, sound, seems like they're going to trade Soto. Yeah, that's what it seems like to yeah, the Yankees, I heard, right? I heard maybe the Yankees, right? That's yeah. the rumor today. Soto to the Yankees. So I, I guess it kind of depends who they get in that deal. But uh, the Padres got some good prospects, notably uh, Jackson Merrill, who's expected yeah. to be up this year. People, people are saying in the chat that it's a done deal. Oh yeah, Soto is gone. They have officially traded Soto. Apparently, that's awesome. Very cool. Trent Grisham too. I, I did read that that he was a part of it potentially. Yeah, Soto wasn't the right fit. That's yeah. what uh, Waka Waka II says. Yeah. Says Soto wasn't the right fit. BM Openings 2 says he's a Yankee. All right. Key of You. Appreciate you, Key of you, you, for buying that card. Talk to me about this one, Carter. A little mosaic, mosaic action right here, Jeff. Patrick Mahomes, MVP from 2020 mosaic. That's a beautiful looking card. Love isn't it? it. Love those cards. Yeah, that's a neat looking card. PSA 10. It's a nice card. That's. So it's not just the mosaic base. That's the mosaic nope, mosaic. that's mosaic yeah. mosaic yeah. right there. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So we're running these auctions tonight, guys. we got a bunch of cards uh, that we are auctioning off like this one this evening. Yep, we're selling uh, 50 total cards, Jeff. All right, so we'll do another card or two and then another giveaway. Yeah. Right? We have, we have we got I mean, we've got almost as many giveaways as cards yeah. tonight. we got to do like a giveaway like every two or three cards here to stay on pace. Yeah, we're going to rip some boxes. I got Tops Gilded over here to rip later for somebody. Mm. You know, that's a fun box. Oh, yeah, I want to rip that. We got some Optic Choice. I want to rip Tops yeah, Gilded as well. 2020, 2021. That's Anthony Edwards, Lamelo rookie year. Ready, set, prep. Yeah. Congratulations, ready, set, prep. Let's run this Dalvin Cook rookie. Ooh, look at that thing light up. Yeah, that's pretty right there. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, from 2017 Prism. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah, Dalvin Cook. He had some good, good years with Great Minnesota. Years. Unbelievable years. Obviously, I, I I do feel bad for his Knowles right now. Ford, but. Yeah, I was going to say, former Florida State Seminole, Dalvin yep. Cook. Yep. College football stud. Yeah, I think we sent him out a loser. Okay. I think we might have sent him. Well, actually, uh, I don't know. He might have won a senior year. He might have beat us a senior year. Because, oh, yeah, the Knowles had a little streak over us. They did. Until Dan Mullen came in and then uh, changed changed the yeah. order of operations yeah. a little and, bit. And then what happened after that, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know. <laughs> no one's in the college football playoff this year, so it's all the same. It's all the yeah, same. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Is Culture Collision worth selling at? Oh, you got to make the trip to Culture Collision. Come on. Yeah, Culture Collision, guys. It is worth selling at. It's a good show. Good Great traffic. Show. Good show. And, of course, Cards HQ will be opening up Culture Collision weekend here in Atlanta, just around the corner for Culture yeah, Collision. so close. Yeah, so we're excited to hopefully have you have you uh, uh, over there for sure. So looking forward to that. Um, do you think Bellinger is going to L.A. since Mookie is going to be the second baseman? Mm. Is he going back? BM Openings 2 wants to know, is Bellinger going back to L.A.? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. that Ho hopefully not for, for the Braves' sake. I didn't know that was a thing. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see. I know, I know he was rumored to go to the Yankees, but them getting Verdugo kind of cancels that out. Suki89714. Congratulations to you. Oh, look at this. Did you you're peppering us with Florida Gator card? You know what? It's not even, I'm sure you're I not set even, it up, Jeff. I, I don't know that up. you're doing it intentionally. It may just be that there are so many good Florida Gator collectible cards out there. Yeah, All time great. Definitely the opposite. The of goats that. like Emmett Smith and Rex Grossman and and Danny Warfel and I mean, you're talking about top tier NFL talent right there. Uh, okay, Jeff. Shane Matthews, let's go. <laughs> now, it's really, really my, really my top tier Gator talents. My boy Timmy Tebow. Mm, Timmy yeah. Tebow, there. How good was he in the NFL? Uh, he was absolutely great that season with Denver. Like magnificently, amazingly, incredibly great. Yeah, like one play in the playoffs. Uh, when he took over the team from <laughs> Kyle Orton. That we were, we, we, he rattled off like six or seven straight wins, something that all these comeback yeah. wins, the stuff legends are made of. We wouldn't have been in the playoffs if it wasn't yeah. for Tim T. The Mandalorian, thank you. Appreciate the purchase. Awesome. The Mandalorian is back. Good to yeah, see you again tonight. See CJ Callahan, what's up? What's up, JP? 
uh, Pucus, is that it? Pucus 10, JP Pucus, nice to see you. Uh, oh, you want to do a giveaway? Yeah, let's do a giveaway. This is a yeah, good we box right do, here. We got to do a lot of giveaways tonight because we got a giveaway. We got so many giveaways. It's like for every like three cards, two or three cards we're selling tonight, we got to do a giveaway. Hobby box. Yeah, WWE Prism 2022. This is a fun product. Very fun. Yeah, this was yeah. this was, this was the product that had that uh, rock uh, card that went crazy, right? The the black one one. The black one one was that this product? I think I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the auto black one one yeah, auto maybe absurd. that went nuts. Yeah, it really kind of bumped the WWE market overall. Yeah, for sure. Awesome guys, so go ahead and enter this giveaway. Uh, what is up, known three thousand and one? How about CJ Callahan, uh, Mark Shark seventy? At Star Wars fan is in the Mile High Sports Cards. What is up, guys? Uh, the Spurrier Fun and Gun offense was the best, says RKC. I, I agree with you. It was the best. Street Nerd says, yo. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, Joe Capo wants a free sign, gets a Jeff Wilson card for his wife for Christmas. Um, I, oh, what's up? Odia Sports. Jason Kuntz yeah, is in the chat what's tonight. Good, Jason? Jason Kuntz, hobby legend. Jason Kuntz, very nice YouTube channel of his own. He, they do good stuff over there. Good consignments business they do over there on oh. uh, Otia. Otia Sports. Uh, good good dude. Got to spend some time with him last year. Big Michigan fan there. Um, Joe Joe Capo. Uh, well, I, I, don't, I, I don't have many of my own Jeff Wilson cards left, <laughs> but I'll see if I can hook you up with one, Joe Capo. We'll see, we'll see maybe what we can do there. All right, let's do this giveaway. We got almost 950 people in the giveaway tonight. I think it's time to go ahead and draw our winner, Carter. Ozzy 47. That's a nice prize, Ozzy 47. Yeah, Sealed hobby bat box. That is shipping to you. That's a nice little Christmas present there for you, Ozzy. All right, let's get back some auctions, Jeff. Yeah, what do we got next? We got a little picket Spectra rookie relic. This is numbered, I believe, out of 99. Is that right? It is card number 16 of 99. Very cool. Yeah, it's a nice patch there. Cool. Looks this is a cool looking card. Yeah, a little multicolor patch, a little bit, a little sliver there on the top. Looks nice in the SGC slab. It does. I love the tuxedo on this yeah, card. We just had uh just had Peter from SGC on our show tonight. By the way, grading special. If you guys want a special on grading, go to sportscardinvestor.com and click grading in the main menu bar. A bulk submission grading special right now with PSA and SGC. At sportscardinvestor.com, click grading in the main menu bar. All right, this one up for auction. Steel Curtain is winning. Of course, Ooh. Steel Curtain is winning. I would hope that Steel Curtain. Oh, he's back in the lead. He lost. I, it I would for hope a second. that Steel Curtain takes down one of his uh, Pittsburgh Steeler guys. <laughs> Pick it a little go. banged up, but I think he's going to be back, right? He's I think out, yeah. Out for a couple of weeks, hopefully, he'll hopefully be back. back by the end of the season. Yeah, Steelers are having a decently nice season. Yeah, Kalenic is the future for the Braves. Let's hope so. Uh, Tim's cards wants to know: Would you recommend selling Culture Collision for someone who doesn't have super expensive cards? I think so. It's I would. Not, I would recommend Culture Collision for any type. Yeah, any, it's not like yeah, a, it's a great show. It's not like a super high end show. It's not a. There was there was a lot of you know uh, collectors there, budget friendly collectors there for sure. Yeah, awesome. Falcon Super Bowl champ says Ethan Cope. I mean, I tell you what: as long as Ritter's the quarterback, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Why am I not getting a reaction from Carter? I, I, like need, I, need, I, I need some responses why in the comment like, to that. Why don't you like Desmond I need, Ritter? I, I, this is your hometown guy. I'm, He's a, your I'm hometown a Jags fan, Jeff. I'm a Jags fan. Oh, you don't even have a quarterback. Yeah, Oh, apparently not. You're right. Your so. quarterback, you can't even get your quarterback a yeah. cart. You make your poor quarterback limp off the field. Just I, you know, I mean, just I, I, you know, to be honest, Jeff, I was just as mad as you about that. So load but, the guy on a stretcher. Yeah. Good question. You guys want to do 150 more blasters? Ooh. Oh, what not? Oh, this is good. What not has just come and have informed us that we are getting 150 more blasters since we sold out of these absolute football blasters literally in like in like five minutes. It was absurd. Um, we, we're going to load some, more we, we need some hype blasters. in the chat for this, Jeff, before this we launch is good. it, we, who, who wants some more blasters? Who wants, who wants to get a kaboom for the holidays for yeah. 15 bucks? Better mind one per person, so All right. Yeah. One, one per, per person. person. That's one important. per person guys. We're going to put more of these in our store here, uh, in just a moment for you guys to be able to buy more in the store. 
Um, but it's going to be one per you're, person. You're cool. Uh, we'll let you know when those are live in the store. But anyway, the Kenny Pickett, a one six nine one elite status. Elite status. Elite status. elite status was the hero of last night's show. We saw him in the chat earlier tonight on YouTube as well. And elite status is back. Yep. Let's, let's run this little color match. Rookie Amon Ross St. Brown. That's actually a really nice yeah. looking card. Man, I, I, need, I need to know from the chat. Are, are, are the Lions contenders out of the NFC, guys? I mean, how are we feeling? I feel like they're a little down from what they were earlier in the season. But, yeah, let's see. I got, I'm got. i getting mixed responses. Absolutely not, says Extreme Pro Machines. A-Train pretenders. Nice, yeah. All right, get some yeses, too. I think the Lions are good. I just don't think they have much of a chance against the Eagles or, or the, the 49ers. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. But... I think the Lions are good. Yeah. I mean, I think they're probably more real than any other team in the NFC. Yeah. It's going to be maybe, exciting to see them in the, the playoffs. Cowboys, maybe the Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys are, yeah, the Cowboys are massive pretenders for me. Uh, Odia Consignment says the Lions are the favorites. Oh, it's a little there hometown go. bias there, yeah, perhaps. There a little Michigan bias. There we go. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. I appreciate the enthusiasm. River Rattler just took home that card. Congratulations, River Rattler. Awesome. What do we have here? What's next? A little Josh Allen rookie, CSG 9.5. Nice. From Contenders, 2018 Contenders. Rookie of the year. All right, yeah. there you go. CSG grades hard as well. They do. So that is, uh, that's probably well, well graded card there. Nice looking card. Rookie year, rookie of the year. Josh Allen, very cool. Let's see. Yeah, oh, I that's mean, a 10 now. Yeah, it is yeah, a 10 I think, now. I think that's right. Pack, Pack Addicts just pointed that out. That's correct. If you send this card back to CSG or now CGC to CGC. get to get yeah, this, this is their original slab, their original yeah. Uh, label. So yeah, they'll they'll since. they'll upgrade it to a 10. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember these these 9.5s back when they started with the screen level were extremely hard to get. Yeah. Extremely yeah. hard. They were grading well, they were grading a little tough. They were very tough. Um, I am uh I'm happy that they updated their labels. Yeah. No, this they, is, yeah, they look great now. Yeah. How do I feel about FSU getting screwed over? Um, well, you know what? I'll tell you two things. As a Gator fan, I'm kind of happy that we don't have to see FSU or Georgia in the college football playoff. However, the truth of the matter is, as a as a as a person with some logic and business and, and common sense, I feel FSU got screwed. I feel like they got screwed. Like, I actually feel bad for them. Even though I'm happy not to see them in the playoffs, I feel bad for them. Gonzalez J88 won oh, that welcome auction. Welcome back. Congratulations. Gonzalez All right, Jeff. J88. One more card. We're going back to a giveaway. One more card, and then we're doing a giveaway tonight. It's on deck. All right. Let's do it. Roll Tides is Biscuit76. The Mandalorian agrees that FSU was completely hosed. Danny B thinks the Lions are ready to roar, and Spinagreen says the Lions are going to the Super Bowl. W Rush 2 says the Rams are the sleeper team this year Ooh. if they make it into the playoffs. Huh. I don't know about that. Huh. I don't know about that. Rams days are done. Rams days are done. Well, they, I mean, they cleared the house to get that Super Bowl. I mean, it was yeah. it was destined for them to have some rough years after. Absolutely. Jay Giles, 2008. Thank you very much yeah. for your purchase. Of the Julio Ooh. Rodriguez. Okay, are we ready? Let's do this. Well, let, we're going to start the giveaway, right. and then we're going to once the giveaway gets running here. So this is um, 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Interesting. Yeah, Donner Soccer. A hobby sealed box. hobby box yeah. of Women's World Cup. This is a giveaway. All of our giveaways tonight, by the way, uh, totally free. Uh, free shipping as well. And they are courtesy of Midwest Cards, our official retail sponsor, MidwestCards.com. Great place to buy wax, and they're courtesy of Whatnot. Um, Whatnot bought a bunch of wax from us at Cars HQ to give away tonight, which we're excited about. But while you guys are entering this giveaway, I have a special announcement, and that is that we are about to load 150 additional Absolute Football Blasters back into our shop at $15 per blaster. Kelly, let me know when they're in there. Kelly's about to get them loaded in there. They're in our shop. Are they live? Okay, guys, these are back live again. This is the last 150. Oh, they're flying, be Jeff. In there. Oh, they're already flying. They're flying. They're already flying. Oh, they're, oh, they're about to be. They're about to be sold oh, out. Less than 100 already. Wow. Uh, 30, 20, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
they done. sold out. <laughs> we, and there's yeah, we, there's Josh right we, there saying we, sold out. We, Shout out whatnot. That that was great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Everyone, we need some thanks in the chat for whatnot. That was a great deal for everyone. So hopefully you all you all got a chance to get one. So, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I mean, that's a speed rack. We love absolute. Do we not? Chat. Let's go. There's definitely going to be some people pulling you know, kabooms. kabooms. Oh, there's going to be many kabooms. We we need a hey. If you pull a kaboom, you got to tag Sports Card Investor and Cards HQ Shop and whatnot on Instagram. That's pretty outstanding. So, Sold 150 blaster boxes in less than 15 seconds. Yeah, that was absurd. Is that a whatnot record? Um, I have been told that the whatnot record is actually held by uh, Card Collector 2. What oh. Card Collector 2 <laughs> holds the whatnot record? He holds the whatnot record for selling what? uh, a thousand items in three minutes. Card Collector 2 sold a thousand in three minutes. All right, we're, we're going to break that someday, Jeff. Wow. Well, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would yeah. try to break, right. I, we would try to break that right now, but well, we don't have a thousand to it. sell tonight. Let's, we don't have a thousand to sell tonight. Yeah. Darn. All right, card collector two. I see you. I see you, card collector two. All right, Ryan. all right. We're gonna we're gonna have to beat Ryan's record here in the future. Yeah, that's a challenge, Jeff. He also shipped them in ten hours. Wow! Wow, all that's right. crazy. Ryan is a maniac. They say in the right. chat. Ryan's a great dude, by the way. I know yeah. Ryan Johnson, card collector two. Really good guy. Uh, really, really honest. Uh, good, good down to earth guy. Enjoy, uh, enjoy getting to know him quite a bit. All right, Jeff. I'm gonna draw the winner right here. And then we'll get back to some selling some car some cards. Let's get let's do some sudden death after this. Oh, we will indeed. Okay, yeah. who's the winner of the hobby box? Dope cards. Goat cards? Dope. Dope cards. Dope. All right, dope cards. Congratulations, dope cards. That giveaway is for you. Are right, we going to sell a few more cards and then we're yeah. going to our next giveaway? What do we got here? We got a George Pickens Prism Silver Rookie PSA 9. But hey, we're, we're going to do sudden death here. So once the clock runs out, it's over. So get your bids in. Ooh. So there's no extending the clock. No extending at wow. all. 15 seconds. It's live right now. Get oh, my God. Only in. 15 seconds. Only 15 seconds. We're Whoa, about to we're flying. We're about to go through some cards. Wow. This auction ends in eight seconds. My goodness. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Yep. And sold. Mac Daddy Sports. Thank you. Uh, Joe Webb 3 wants to know what happened to Card Collector 1. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know. know. Who's card collector? Yeah, who's, collect <laughs> who's card collector one? We need uh yeah, we need I only know card collector two. What are what are my thoughts on the cults? Andrew Andrew C2 wants to know. Um, you know, they're having a surprisingly good season. I did not think they were gonna be very good this year. I am I am not a I hate to say it, he's probably not gonna like hearing this, but I'm not a huge believer in Anthony Richardson. I even though he's a Florida Gator, I watched him at Florida. I don't think he's ever going to really make a complete NFL quarterback. Um, but um, but the team, despite, obviously, he went down earlier this year. Despite that, the team around him is actually a lot better than I thought they would be. So that's it's it seems like maybe they got a nice nucleus there yeah. in Indianapolis. We'll see. Yeah, for sure. By All the right. way, Indianapolis, great city. Have you ever been to Indianapolis? I before? have. I've actually been to March Madness there. Yes, I've yeah. been to March Madness there, yeah, too. What year did you go? I went during COVID. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Downtown Indianapolis for an event like March Madness, that was one of the greatest greatest memories of my life was uh, March Madness uh, in downtown Indianapolis in 2006 when the Gators won their first basketball national championship. Wonderful city. So many memories from that trip. Incredible. Congratulations to the Mandalorian on winning that Bowman. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff is everything related to the Gators? Yeah, that's pretty much right. me. Well, this guy's not. This guy's related to Alabama and Oklahoma, and he's you know, one of the favorites for the Philadelphia Eagles to win the Super Bowl. So... I know, I know you like him. So, uh, yes, I'm trying to think of the Gators played him. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think we played Hurts. Yeah, really good, great, Hertz. no, <laughs> great, no relation to Florida okay. here. There we All go. Right, Mac Daddy Sports, <laughs> congratulations, Mac Daddy Sports takes down the Jalen Hurts. And we got person. another one. Oh, we got a ten. Yeah, we got a. Okay, CS so this is the mosaic base mosaic, mosaic. Uh, from yep. CSG ten. Yep. There you go. Nice looking slab there from CSG. This is sudden death too, yeah? So yeah, oh yeah, it runs out. Woo, you better get your bids in. Left. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, FM Jets wants me to auction one of my cars off for charity. You know what? I would love to do that. I actually 
don't have one of my cards on me tonight. That's a good idea, though. I am going. That is a good idea. We're going to have to do some of that. I I don't have that many of my own card. You know, they're short prints. Tops Tops gave me some, which was very nice of them. But I don't have a crazy stack of them. But I do have some still. So we'll have to uh, we will have to do one of those for charity at some point for sure. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cool Kobe card, Jeff. This is a cool Kobe yeah. card. Yeah, for sure. From 2010. Nice. 2010. So this is back during his playing career. Mm -hmm. PSA nine from 2010 rookies and stars. This is the longevity of uh, fitting for Kobe because he played for so many years. Yep. He was in the league, you know, very, very long career in the league. And one six nine one one elite status takes that one down. Congratulations. All right, We got a giveaway on deck after this card. Okay, Jeff. we're doing this card and then we're doing a giveaway. How about a Gronk rookie card? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, PSA eight. Cutting to his right. Uh, I, you know what? I like the design of 2010 tops. Oh yeah. I think that's a nice, I think that's a nicely designed card perhaps because Gronkowski was only the second most famous player in 2010 tops. Hmm. You know who the first player was <sighs> Tim Tebow. Come on, Carter. You're going to learn how this game is played one of these years. All right. What are we giving away next? What uh, are we giving away next? Origins international football blaster. This is 2023. So you can get some Stroud and uh, Bryce Young rookies in here. Nice. Anthony Richardson. Man, I just made a Florida reference. What am I doing? Anthony Richardson. There you go, Carter. Oh. Good job. You're on the train now. I like that. <laughs> I like that. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Enter this right. giveaway, guys. Get in the giveaway for sure. Right, do we have some of our giveaways open for international tonight? We do. I, I went through, and they should be. Awesome. So yep. these are our friends international. If you're watching from Canada or Mexico, or last night we had people in the stream from Germany. Yeah, Australia too last Australia, night. Australia, and yeah, so you can you can enter the giveaways too. We're picking up shipping costs on our own. Uh, we'll be happy to ship you giveaways. So, Oh, I do, yeah. I got oh, we cool got, buttons. oh, yeah. Yeah, while this giveaway is running, I want to give a shout out to stand-up displays. Actually, Ryan, can you grab me those? Oh, we got a couple here. So stand-up displays, guys, they do these custom card stands. Um, and they also do stands there. You don't have to just do custom ones. Uh, you can do custom ones or you can get, they have them with all the uh, major league baseball team logos. They have them with uh, NFL jerseys. They got all kinds of different card stands. And if you go to standupdisplays.co tonight, you get 20% um, off anything on their website. If you use promo code virtual 2023. So again, it's standupdisplays.co. You can get your own custom card stand made with your own graphic or logo for less than 20 bucks tonight, get that mailed to you for less than 20 bucks. If you go on standupdisplays.co and use promo code virtual2023 at checkout. Oh, Mac Daddy Sports and Mac Daddy Sports gave us a tip. Oh, we got some beer money. Thank you, Mac Daddy Sports. Cheers. All right. By the way, all William, congrats on that Rob Gronkowski card. I don't know that I acknowledged him yet. Let's draw the winner yep, for this. Let's draw it. Why aren't we drinking beer? Irish Frank 41? Congrats. Frank 41. That's a good question. Why aren't we drinking beer? <laughs> I might get a beer here in a little bit. That's all right. what all, all William wants to know why we aren't drinking beer. Yeah. All right. Let's do another giveaway. Back Tom to back. wants to know why we aren't drinking beer. Or oh, we're doing a second giveaway. Yeah. Well, let's go back to back, Jeff. Okay. And this is nice. Tops Chrome Black Hobby Box from 2022. Four cards. Yep. There's an auto and then one numbered card. Yeah, we sealed auto. We 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 ripped one last one. I think uh pulled Jeff Bagwell gold auto. Do we rip it? We can if we want. I feel like we could beat last night's box. Okay, yeah. Last night's box was okay. Let's give it a shot. It was okay. I mean, I like Bagwell. I like Bagwell, but it was it was okay. It was okay. What's my beer of choice? Favorite IPA, guys. The audi the audience will be disappointed to learn. <laughs> And I like light beer. I, I'm not, I, they will be disappointed to learn. However, um, I do respect IPAs. I'll occasionally drink an, an IPA. Uh, Tropicalia is a good local IPA uh, that I enjoy here in Atlanta. I appreciate I appreciate craft beer, but I tend to go for more of the pilsners of the world. Uh, not uh, not not the answer that most beer aficionados would prefer to uh, re prefer to hear. My drink of choice. Yeah, let people know what your drink of choice is. Oh, like of any drink, what my drink of choice is? Yeah. Uh, a, a nice tiki drink. I, I love tiki drinks. I love. Uh, I'm. I'm actually a, a an aficionado. Uh, I like a good mai tai. I like a good rum runner. There's nothing better than sitting on the beach, 
in the Bahamas and having a nice cold Bahama mama. Those are, that's, that's my vibe. I like the beach vibe. I like my drinks to have a little umbrella in them. And I like them to be consumed when I'm looking at the beautiful ocean and sitting on the beautiful sand. That is my vibe right there. That is my vibe. All right. I need to open this guy. Do we have a knife? Uh, we, Ryan was looking for it. All right. Otherwise, I'm just going to use brute strength. I guess you're going to have to, Jeff. Oh, look, we got producer Kelly just made an entrance into the show tonight. All right, let's pick the winner here. Yep, let me draw it. Just cut it again with that. That is not Nat working at all. Mitt. Nat Mitt. You just won the 2022 Tops Chrome Black. All right, let's Hobby see box. what he won. Let's see what he won. Let's see what he won. This is a good box to be given away. All right. We have an entire studio here at Sports Card Investor, and we can't find anything to open a box with. That <laughs> we is had amazing. it last night. It disappeared. We had a last night. We had a box opener. Look, literally, Kelly just handed me a USB key to open the box with. It did not work. You cannot <laughs> open up. You cannot open up a hobby box with a USB key. That is. That is. That is it um safe travels wants to know why he can't enter the giveaways safe travels the giveaways are being done here on whatnot tonight so there will be a button that pops up on your screen to enter the giveaway next time we do one so that's how the giveaways are we being have done plenty tonight. more so stay tuned okay. all right we finally got this one open now the box is a little bit ripped but that's okay you don't care about the box you care about what is inside the box so let's get at it and what is inside this box is a pack and it, oh did everyone see it already let's see what the card is you ready you ready boom rodolfo castro rookie. rodolfo castro rookie card number to 155 all right it's a pretty sweet looking card there you go a rookie auto that is an on-card auto it's pretty nice by the way nice autograph yeah very nice rodolfo bring in the heat with his autograph that takes some time right there number to 155 Maybe there you go i like that auto and who, who was the winner of this again? Uh, Nit Mitt or something? Net Mitt. Nat Mitt. Yeah. N A T M I T. And Nat Mitt's going to like the top card. Oh, Nat yeah. Mitt, there Nat we Mitt. go. Nat Mitt's going to like the Bobby Witt Jr. Tops Black, Tops Chrome Black rookie card. Congratulations, Nat Mitt. Bobby Witt Jr., not only one of the um, hot rookies. Uh, but also a card collector. Uh, he's done some collaboration with Tops. He's a big card collector. These Tops Chrome Black cards look real cool, don't yep, they? Yeah, they're like, great. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Really neat card. All right, let you sleeve that up. Next up, Nick Lodolo. Good pitcher, rookie. Yeah, so, another rookie yeah, card. Yeah, two rookie cards. Very nice. Woo! For our Yankees sure. fans out there, I think we got a numbered card here tonight. Let's see what we got. Is this uh this is like a purple ice variation of some type here? yeah purple mini diamond purple or speckle. Mini diamond purple speckle one of the two very nice very nice they change up the name sometimes set to what do set. we got here this one number two 150 okay all right that's pretty cool i mean you know what can't beat a free box can't beat a free box can't beat a rookie auto uh can't beat a couple of numbered cards i think that was a, that was a nice little gift there that was a nice little gift. How many giveaways do we have left tonight, Carter? We have a lot. <laughs> we got like what? We got about 20 still, right? 20 a more boxes amount. to give away tonight. Yeah, we got 21. 21 boxes to give away. Yeah, we still got a bunch of cards, so we got to get moving. All right, we got to get moving. Let's get moving because we have one hour left in the stream. We got 21 boxes to give away. Uh, Tim's Cards wants to know how the Coca-Cola Experience and Atlanta Aquarium are. The aquarium is freaking amazing. The, aqu the George Aquarium... Uh, which is in downtown Atlanta, is the biggest aquarium in the um, Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really nice Massive. aquarium. So definitely go check out the George Aquarium. Coca-Cola World's fun. It's a fun exhibit. Um, you know, it's it's nothing crazy, but it's cool to go see for a couple hours. It's mm -hmm. definitely definitely fun to see. All right, Jeff, we're going to keep on it with sudden death right here. So oh, these are sudden death. Yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to keep it at 15 seconds. So make sure you get your bid before the time runs out. It does not extend. It's live. All right. Card Addict wants to know if we're going to host a trade night the opening week of Cards HQ. In fact, we're going to host a trade night during the Culture Collision Show. So if you come to Atlanta for the Culture Collision Show at the end of January, we're going to host a trade night during that. Sneak peek to see the store. Mm -hmm. So for sure. It's going to be a fun time. All right, me and Mike, congratulations on that Luca card. Sensational swatches. What do we have up next here? A little flashback. 
rookie. Kenny oh, that's Pickett. cool. Yeah, very cool. PSA yeah, 10. look at that. That's the silver. Yep. The the prison flashback rookie. So okay, this is a neat one. This is one I actually would like for my collection. That's pretty sweet. Awesome, awesome. I'm a big fan of the flashbacks every year now, ever since they started doing them. FM Jets wants to know if we are going to be at the Columbus, Ohio card show this weekend. We are. Yeah, we're taking the team. Me, Ryan, and Pokey Professor Mike is going to make the trip up there. We're excited for it. That's right. I won't be there, unfortunately, but Carter's definitely going to be there. Ryan's definitely going to be there. Let's go say, by the way, let's say hi to Ryan over yeah. here. Uh, oh, how do I switch my Ryan camera? Oh, I don't have a Ryan camera tonight. You do. Oh, it's over here. There it is. My bad. There's the Ryan camera. Let's bring it up there on the screen. There's there the Ryan is. camera. Yeah. There's the Ryan camera. Whoa, oh. whoa. There's the Ryan. There's Ryan right there. You can see this is our, he's working uh, back in our studio here this evening. The cards Ooh. that we're selling, Ryan is helping to package tonight so we can get these shipped out for you guys tomorrow. We're going to try to ship out all the cards you guys buy tonight. We're, we're trying to ship them out tomorrow. So uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can get that done for everybody. Yeah. Um, so Ryan will be busy at work along with our team on that. Okay, the Kenny Pickett sold yeah. to GE Philly. Yeah. I think it's a nice buy, actually. Very cool. All right, we got a nice card right here, Jeff. Again, sudden death. This ends in 15 seconds starting now, but this RPA is sick. Terry McLaurin, Washington Redskins, rookie patch auto. You got three different swatches in here. Yeah, you got Number to 99. Ball. Yeah, very cool card. Number to 99. I like, that. I like that auto, too. Yeah, that's actually a nice auto. Terry McLaurin has a nice auto. Congratulations, mm -hmm. River Rattler, on that card. Very cool. Oh, and this one we saw earlier, but this is the camo. Yeah, paint so this is another color. So if you bought the mosaic or you wanted that, this is another good color to get. Look at another, that light up on your screen. Yeah, another PSA 10. That's really nice. Can't go wrong with Mahomes. No. Cannot go wrong with Mahomes. Yeah. Well, and you, you never know how they're going to turn it on, you know, in the playoffs. I know they're yeah, a little. They'll turn it on. I know they're a little iffy right now. They'll turn offenses, it on. But, yeah. Elton Ja. Not mm, just Elton Ja. Elton Joe. Won, won, yeah. won it. Won it. Congratulations. Let's get a Burrow rookie. Yeah. He's not going to turn it on in the playoffs this year. Sadly not. But hopefully next year he will. Shout out Jake Browning. Joey Joey B will be back next year. Someone just asked in the chat if we had any Jake Browning. We do not, but we have the next closest thing. Yeah. We we have Joey B. The better Bengals quarterback. We have better. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, you know, but Browning did good this yeah. last week. Matthew Stern. There you go. Seven. Thank you. Congratulations, Appreciate Matthew the purchase. Stern. Hopefully you guys are getting some good stocking stuffers tonight for yourself or for others. Um. All right. Will we be at the Dallas Card Show in January? Uh, Ryan will be. Yeah, Ryan from our team's team is going to be there. That's the week right before Cards HQ is going to be opening. So I, I'm going to be back home. Carter's going to be back home uh, to stock Cards HQ, but Ryan's going to go to that show. We got a bunch of work to do, Jeff. We got a bunch of work to do to get Cards HQ ready. That is absolutely correct. Elite um, status again, Jeff. Takes elite the, status. Takes the dub. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. This is. This is a cool design card. I love the gridiron. Case. Yeah, this is neat. This is a Trevor Lawrence rookie. It is the rookie gridiron Kings. That's neat. PSA nine. Uh, like the design of that 2021 Donruss. That's a pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Uh, Skin 21 ears says he will move from DC to work at Cards HQ if we are hiring. We are. are we hiring? We are. So definitely hiring. If you are interested in, we have plenty of positions open. You can go to cardshq.com after this live. You can take a look at our roles, descriptions, fill out an application, and we'll be in touch with you soon. Elton John, not John, but Elton Joe. Congratulations. Yeah. Appreciate you. Another win tonight. Yeah, let's get this Jefferson rookie live. 2020 Panini Select Justin Jefferson rookie card, PSA 9. Oh, we've got someone from Atlanta in the chat tonight who would love to work at our store. Oh, well, please. Please work for our store. Please. Please work for our store. Yeah. Zebron James wants to, wants to be CEO. Zebron James. We would welcome you, Zebron James. Come on down to Atlanta. Very, uh, very entertaining streamer. Would love to have him. Absolutely. Joe Capo says that Cards HQ is going to be the best card shop of all time. I hope so, Joe. Yeah. We're trying. Yeah, we're going to try hard, man. That. Let's go. We're going to try hard. Christian Jack wants to know where my son Reeves is. Reeves is uh, home. Uh, probably just went to bed tonight. Uh, he's got school early in the morning, so uh, we're missing him tonight. But once Cards HQ opens, he'll be on a lot of these types of streams. Oh, You'll yeah. see him in a lot of these streams. 
Someone just gave a shout out to Stand Up Displays in the chat. StandupDisplays.co, 20% off tonight, everything on StandupDisplays.co, all of those awesome card stands uh, using promo code virtual2023 on StandupDisplays.co. Congratulations, a Bonald Collectibles just won that Michael Jordan card, the Michael Jordan Show Stoppers. Yep. Very cool. All right, we Very got cool. a big giveaway, Jeff. Oh, we got a big one? Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. Pop home update. Jumbo hobby box. <laughs> it is giveaway time indeed. This is a nice one, guys. We are giving away a 2023 Topps Chrome Update Series sealed hobby box you've got a lot of opportunity for really cool cards in here three autograph cards in every single one of these boxes and and you've got the opportunity to get one of the one of one mlb debut patch cards those are in these boxes so enter that giveaway people are asking how you enter the giveaway you just hit the enter giveaway button here on whatnot right here Right here on whatnot, just hit that button on your screen, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Um, I hope someone pulls the uh, MLB debut patch yeah. card out of one of these boxes. Yeah, we, we we ripped the Breakers delay, and we were hoping for one last night, but we still got a red rookie out of five. That was, yeah, that was a good box. Yeah, no, for sure, absolutely. All right, this is this is uh, this is a good one to be given away tonight, guys. All of our giveaways tonight, courtesy of. Midwest Cards, our official retail sponsor, MidwestCards.com. Great place to get wax for the holidays. And courtesy of Whatnot, our sponsor for the virtual sports card show. It's been a lot of fun, the virtual holiday. We had a great session earlier today on YouTube, and we're ending it off tonight. We got lots of giveaways tonight. Oh, okay, if your card is not submitted, you can't enter a giveaway even though it's free. That's what mm. Street Nerd says. So there you go. That's your answer. You got to, I guess, store a credit card in whatnot, and then you can enter a giveaway. Mm. Um, but the giveaways are free, so you don't have to buy anything. You can just put your credit card in there, and then you could enter the giveaway. Shipping on the giveaways is free as well, so you don't have to actually pay for anything. Awesome. All right, let's draw the winner, Jeff. All right, let's draw the winner of this one. Brandon B. Johnson, 2174. Congrats. Brandon B. Johnson, 2174. People want us to rip that one. We're not going to rip that one. There's a lot of cards in that one. We will rip Tops Definitive. Yep. Can you believe we're going to give away a box of Definitive here in a little bit? Look at that. That is that one we're ripping, guys. That is an absolutely incredible, incredible box. Yeah, we got to stay tuned to the end. This can be our final giveaway of the night. Woo. Woo, that's so. a nice box. All right, we got another giveaway here. A little UFC Chronicles hobby box. We're going to you know, move fast on this one, guys, so make sure you hit that inner button, and we got to get back some cards. Yeah, yeah, we got uh, we only got about 50 minutes left in our stream here. Uh, let's see, Mint Condition uh, Bros YT wants to know if I'm going to be at the next Georgia Collectible show. I was actually at the last Georgia Collectible show, which was a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I went by, got a couple of holiday gifts, went with my two boys, uh, we bought some holiday gifts, little stocking stuffers, got a little little Pokemon for my daughter, and we got they got presents for each other there. So don't know if we'll be at the next one or not. Probably not at the next one, but um, it's a good little local show, fun little local show to support. And by the way, breaking news, you guys probably don't know because you guys were off at uh, – uh, you guys were still at the Philly show on Sunday when I went to the Georgia Collectible show, but uh, they're expanding it considerably next year. It's going to be a lot bigger. They're, wow. moving, they're moving to uh, – uh, another hotel venue. Uh, it's capable of uh, many more tables than what they have. So they're looking to try to like double the size of the show next oh, year. Oh, that's exciting for the Atlantic community. There Let's go. go. That will be good. I told them that Cards HQ may need a presence there. Uh, I would think so. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do something. So yeah, anyway. let's go. All right, let's draw the winner. All right, draw the winner. I'm going to give a shout out to Nate, the son of JoJo40505. What's up, Nate? Jaden Tank. Congratulations. Jaden Tang, congratulate Jaden Tank. Congratulations on the UFC sealed Chronicles hobby box. Two autographs on that. All right. All right. You want to go back to, to regular auctions, Jeff. All right, we got tip for a dollar. Go Eagles, oh. says Jesse. Go Eagles. I like the Eagles. I like Hertz. I'm excited to see the rematch. I think the rematch Hertz and uh the 49ers in the playoffs is gonna be a lot closer. A lot closer. So 
I hope so too for entertainment purposes. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'd be at the next Philly show, GM JM 2009. We were just at the Philly show this past weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, Great show. Yeah, we'll probably be at the next one. We'll probably be at the next one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're hoping to have multiple teams out on the road that weekend. It's the same weekend as the Nashville card show. Ready, set, prep. Congratulations on your win of that Patrick Mahomes silver PSA 9 from Select. Let's put our next card up here for auction. This is a 2017 Bam Adebayo rookie card from Donruss Optic, the Shock Prism in an SGC 9. I love these Shock Prisms out of Optic, especially from this year, 2017, 18. How about Jenny, Jenny Marie Sports Cards calling her shot that the Ooh. Green Bay Packers are going to be your Super Bowl champions this year? Wow. That would be good for the Jordan Love card market. It'd be great. It'd be great for the hobby. Not I mean, sure Not sure Jenny's right on that one, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Definitely appreciate the enthusiasm for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, have I ever been to the indie show? Nope. Don't think nope, I've ever been to the, the indie Midwest show. That's the Midwest Monster. Yeah. Oh, the Midwest Monster. I, no, I've not been. I want to yep. go to that. Yep. Would definitely like to go to that. Your, a, card, next one in June. your card collector wants to know if I'm going to be at the Burbank show in February. Probably not the February one because Cards HQ is going to be opening like a week or a couple weeks before that show. So the timing on that's hard. But I do think I will probably be at the August Burbank show. So I will see you guys out there in August, if not before. We got a Scotty Barnes rookie, 2021 Select PSA 9. This is numbered. numbered this yeah. is card number. It's numbered to 199. Yeah. Oh, there's only, He's there's having only, a killer year. Yeah. He's having a really good year. Yeah, he is having a good year. Yeah, so this, this is, is a good. color match. This is sick. Color match, PSA 9 color match, Scotty Barnes rookie card, number to 199. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I love rookie color matches, Jeff. You can't go wrong with it. There you go. All right, Cards HQ shop just applied. We have person, someone, someone just applied. Let's go. There we go. There we go. All right. Your card collector says, I can't believe you read my comment. I'm a huge fan. You got me into YouTube, and I'm only 14. Love that. Love. love Shout out uh, to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to you. Uh, love that for sure. Awesome. All right. Where are we at with this uh, Scotty Barnes card? Just it is sold. done. Wing J13. Congratulations on the Scotty Barnes rookie card, number to 199. How about a little classic Jordan? Yeah. I like the design of these cards. Yeah. Nice and bold, colorful. This is 1991 Fleer SGC8 Michael Jordan card. Pretty cool picture of Michael, too. I like it. I like Absolutely. It a lot. Um, uh, Street Nerds wants to know if we're going to start making repacks anytime soon. I no immediate plan, Street Nerds, but I do. I am. I am uh, intrigued by the idea of doing like a super transparent repack. I talked about it on Cards on the Table last week, so it's definitely something we're going to explore once the store gets open. But it's it's you know getting the store open open first is uh, our first priority. So we'll we'll look at that sometime next year for sure. Um. All right, Hunter Wells. Congratulations, Hunter Wells, on that Appreciate card. The purchase. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, Jaden Tank, we are going to ship as much wax as we can tomorrow. Uh, we're going to ship as, as much as we can tomorrow, and, uh, and then we'll continue shipping on Friday. So uh, everything will ship within the next couple of days. This is a neat LeBron card. Tell yeah. me about this one. I mean, this is the finals MVP. I mean, this one they won in 2020. Lakers championship. This is a special card, Jeff. Green mosaic. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a nice looking card. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's got a neat look to it for sure. PSA 9. I, I love this picture of him holding the finals trophy and his MVP trophy. He looks happy, doesn't he? Uh, well, I would hope so. <laughs> I, I would be happy holding those two things. I mean, this was arguably one of the toughest championships to ever win. This was in the bubble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. The Orlando, the Orlando Bubble Championship. Yep. What a wild time that was, Oof, huh? Crazy, crazy. Absolutely. Tim's card says, "Have you ever been to the Gainesville Card Show or the Roswell Card Show?" I've not. Have you guys been? Uh, yeah, we have. We have. Okay. You got to take me some weekend. When do those go on? I I wasn't even aware of those. I've always just gone to the local uh, Windy Hill one here in town. Yeah, I think the is, is the Roswell show once a month. Yep. Yeah, Roswell. I I, okay. I I haven't heard anything about Gainesville recently, but. Gotcha. All right. I'll yeah. get I'll get up to those. I'll get up to those for sure at some point. Yeah. All right. JC52. Thank you for the purchase. There you go. JC52. Congratulations. All right, Jeff. This is cool. A little Patrick Mahomes here. 2022 Rookies and Stars. Patrick I think this Mahomes. This is number. Check the back for me, Jeff. Let's see. Oh, it is numbered. It is. Yes. 
Look at that. 99, maybe? It is number two. No, no, no. Oh, no. no, better? No, 35. 35. It's wow. Number 35. This is a Crusade. You know, I like the Crusade design. That's actually a classic design in Panini products. Yeah. And this is the Crusade number to 35. Yeah, this is a cool card. Yeah, this is Patrick really, Holmes. this is this is a cool card. There you go. Very, very neat. The Cards HQ shop is going to be opening at the end of January. It's in Atlanta. It's pretty near the battery in Atlanta where the Brave Stadium is. So hope to see you there. Uh, Rejic8 says, shout out to AAA Collectibles in Charlotte, North Carolina. Never seen any of the Charlotte stores. Would like to get up there sometime soon. Um, uh, Daniel wants to know if I'm ever going to get stickers like the rest of the YouTube influencers. I think we have some sports card investors. Yeah, we got some stickers. sports card investors. We got some Cards HQ Cards stickers. HQ, yeah. So there you go. All right, Jeff. We got giveaways on deck after this one. Oh, you know what? This here. card's particularly relevant today, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, We're know. probably going to see a spike in the Juan Soto card market. Yeah, absolutely. Probably yeah. have already seen a spike. I, yeah. bet, I bet there's probably a lot of Juan Soto cards selling on eBay today. Apparently, he's a new um, he's a new Yankee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be – his market's about to go bonkers. He's about to become really relevant in that 2018 class more than ever before. He's going to yeah. be on par with Otani and Acuna back again. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. exciting times for baseball. Yeah, no, it is exciting times yeah. for baseball. Let's go Yankees, says Flawless Quality yeah. Kicks. Where, hey, guys, where, where's Otani going to sign? Where, where, what's his decision going to be here in the next week? Let's let, let's hear your thoughts there. Yeah, I want to see want to see Sports Guard Couple in the chat. What's up, Sports Guard Couple? I like the Braves answers. Let's hope for yeah, the best Yeah, there's there. actually a decent number of Braves answers. I don't think that's true. I'm no. seeing a lot of Toronto. Yeah, not a lot of Dodgers, which are the right? favorite. They'd be a little bit surprised. Uh, Dodgers, A's, Angels, um, uh, Detroit. Uh, Marlins, Oak, Oakland's. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oakland's. Yeah, good luck yeah, with that. Yeah. I think I think Otani wants to eventually be yeah. in Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rangers, Pac-Man 71 says Rangers. Uh, Baltimore, San Francisco. We're getting all the teams tonight. White Sox, Cubs, Savannah Bananas. Tim's card. 12. Yeah, let's go. Savannah Bananas. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. All right. That's uh, Gonzalez J88. Congratulations. Yep, Jeff. And I already got this giveaway live. The next giveaway we're going to rip. Oh. So, Tops Chrome Tennis Sapphire. Tennis Sapphire edition. Yeah, this is a cool box right here. 2021. Yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've i not seen uh, Sapphire Tops Chrome. I knew they had the normal Tops Chrome tennis cards, but I didn't realize they had Sapphire Tops mm -hmm. Chrome tennis cards. I love Sapphire. Sapphire yeah. is one of my favorite things to. To watch breaks of. I think the cards are so beautiful. They're very nice cards. Big yeah. checklist. Yeah. Big checklist. Yeah. Hard hard to get big hits. There's no doubt about it. But yeah. when you do when hit. When you do, it's worth it. You hit nice. You you hit really great. Absolutely. So. All right. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys 10 more seconds to enter in here. And then we're going to get to the next one. I think next, Jeff, we're going to rip this optic choice. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah. This is going to be a fun box Optic to choice rip. basketball. Yep. yep. And then later on, we still got definitive at the end of the night. And we will be ripping top gilded here in a in a little wow. while as well. So those we're, are big boxes. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun time. We still got some other big giveaways as well. The 17, 18 basketball hobby optic, and then twenty twenty two select football hobby as well. So we got some big ones coming up, Jeff. Yeah, I like. Okay, wow, select yeah. football hobby box. Yeah. So there's yeah. So you guys better be sharing the stream with your friends because you, you you want everyone to have a chance to win some of this. So all right, let's draw the winner here. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. Hawk. Hawk. Wow, nice username. That's a good username. Yeah. Hawk, Hawk clearly got on whatnot early. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there username go. Hawk. Congratulations, there Hawk. We go. Okay, so this one we're going to rip, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're going to give it away right now, guys. So this is choice basketball. We're, we're trying to get Nebula 101s out of this. Yeah, so six cards. Mm -hmm. uh, 2020 basketball. So this is Anthony Edwards. Yeah, and LaMelo Woo! Ball, Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, Halliburton's in here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing out of his mind right oh, now. Oh, unreal! His market is going crazy. What's happening in the uh, base? What's happening in the basketball uh, Vegas tournament? That I think the Vegas uh, semifinals were tonight, weren't they? Are they starting tonight? I know they're going to Vegas. Uh, Lakers, Pacers, and then um, I'm blanking on the other two. Are the semifinal? Were the semifinal? Oh, they're tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. the semifinal games are. Yeah, tomorrow. who am I? Lakers, Pacers, maybe the Buck. It was either Bucks or Knicks. I don't remember who won that one. Yeah, the Bucks. Bucks yeah. won. Yeah, yeah, Bucks won. Pelicans, that's right. Yeah, Pelicans. Zion. You so, know, I, I saw. Uh, I was talking with a friend today, and he told me Zion's like shooting like fifty six percent. Zion's having a good season. It was yeah. Brandon Ingram though the other night yeah. who really got it done for them. Brandon Ingram's underrated. 
Very Brandon underrated. Ingram is underrated. The Pelicans are probably a little bit underrated as well. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start to open this one here, yep. and then we can pick the winner in just yeah. a minute. Last chance, guys, to enter this giveaway. Yep. This is a nice one. This is Optic. Uh, this is an Optic Choice Box from 2020. 2020. So Zion, well, not Zion, but uh, Anthony Edwards and Halliburton. Zion's second We're just year. talking about Zion's second year. Yep. If, if, if you can pull a big Zion card in here, you're not going to be sad, I promise. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Let's see. Ten more seconds till I draw the winner. So if you're here in the live, you haven't entered, make sure you press that giveaway button right now. All right. Well, Jeff's opening open. this. So not a little bit here. Give myself a little more room. All right, Jeff. I'm going to draw the winner. Okay, let's, let's do see, it. Let's see who's getting it. Let's pull you something great. Woo. W Baker 70. Congratulations. W Baker 70. Let's go, W Baker 70. Let's get this here. Let's get this here for you. All right. I feel like something big's coming. Let's hope. Let's I already hope. see. A, I already see a Mojo refractor at the back. That's a good sign. Okay. Yeah. There we That's go. That's a good sign. Oh, it's fitting. It's fitting, right. Carter. Let's get it. It's fitting, Let's Carter. Get it. Let's get you know it. Let's get some hype is. in the chat. Let's go. We need a banger. You know who the first card is? Florida Gator. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Florida Gator. Al Horford. We started the box with the Florida <laughs> Gator. Ooh, do we have gold next? Do we have black gold? I don't know if that's numbered or Is not. that black gold out of eight or out of five? Is that a black gold Oh, number? boy. Oh, boy. Jimmy Butler. Let's go. Okay. Jimmy Butler. Is that a low-numbered Butler? That should be. Is that a low-numbered Butler card? Numbered. Oh, Butler. let's go. Jimmy Butler, let's number go. to eight. Card number four of eight, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy let's, Bucket, let's baby. Let's go. Let's that's go. That's a good hit right that there. Is, that is it right there. That is cool. Yeah, that's a good hit. That Jimmy Bucket. Really nice. There you go. Let's get it on. Let's get that done. All right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Very cool. Awesome. Let me give that to you. Yep. Let me take care of that. Fred Van Vliet. Oh. Also a numbered card. Yeah, the red. Yeah. Ooh, the next one's cool. Fred Van Vliet, number 288. That's a pretty cool card. All right, I think we got an auto. I think we got an auto of a rookie who is not, not as hot now. As he was uh, a couple of years ago, people were definitely chasing him a bit a couple of years ago. Um, but um, but still, I believe we got a rookie auto, and it's a it is a big name. It is. Oh, there we go. He's on the Pacers now, if I'm correct. Obi Toppin. Yeah. Obi so, Toppin looking good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not working. Obi Toppin, look at that on card auto. Yeah, Very cool. So working. If I press it, let's see. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Look at that. There we nice go. on card cool. auto. Yeah, we'll topping. There we go. All right, two more cards left. What do we got? Boom. Nico Mannion. Nico Mannion of the Golden State Warriors, and our final card. Oh, that's that's not bad. Of the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, that is a Mojo design, not numbered, but it's like a Mojo type design yeah. on that. Yeah, choice. Nice, cool, awesome. Nice box there. Especially, yeah, very nice. Especially yeah. let's especially let's, for free. Yeah, let's show off the Jimmy Butler real quick. That's, yeah, that's the big hit of the box. That's nice, Jimmy Butler number to eight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. beautiful. Beautiful. That was the year the Heat won to the finals. I think so. Yeah, that was the year Jimmy but Butler was outstanding, and the Heat went to the finals. Carried that team. There you go. Yeah, Jimmy Butler. There you go. Big shocker there. Yeah, awesome. So, all right, Jeff, let's get back into some cards. Let's do it. What do we got next? We got a bunch. We we don't have too many cards left. I think under twenty, and we're. I think we're around just over 15 giveaways left, so plenty more boxes. More boxes and cards left, guys, so make sure you stick around. So we got to do like a card and then a giveaway. One or two cards and a giveaway. Yeah, One or two cards and a giveaway. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Let's, let's get, make it happen. Let's get into some Brees Hall here. Okay. Yep. We got about 30 minutes left in the stream, guys. We got 15 more giveaways tonight or, yeah, maybe even more. I don't know. Uh, you know what, Kelly? I'm gonna get you a beer. I'll take a beer. I think it's time for a beer. Okay. I think we're Pacifico we're. Pacifico or Michelob Ultra? Oh, I'll drink a Pacifico. That's a more of a I'm real okay. beer than a Michelob Ultra. All right, Brees Hall rookie card number ninety nine on card auto from Contenders. Yep. There you go. That's a cool, cool card out of ninety nine. Pretty cool rookie yeah. roundup from Contenders. Yeah. Brees Hall started off the year really good too. Yep. Really good. There you go. Shaping up to be a good NFL running back. Yeah. So, and people want this card. There's a lot of people bidding on this. Yeah, 33 people, bids. Yeah, people like this card. Brees Hall is a good name. He's a yeah, good player. Very good. By the way, people are happy that I um, chose the Pacifico over the, over the, I couldn't, I couldn't pick 
I couldn't pick Michelob Ultra. People would people would not uh you know they would not live that down oh, okay. in the chat. So Pacifico is a good beer. All right, playoff call to arms. Joey B, Joe Burrow. This cool card, purple. Yeah, look at that card. Yeah, yeah this is a purple variation. So right it's here. that's a neat look to it. Man, yeah, look at that thing light up. Yeah, that's a really. I cool love our setup, card. Jeff. This setup is unreal. It really wow. shows the cards well. It really does show yeah. that card. Are you guys that's... seeing any whatnot stream show cards off like this? This is incredible. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool card. Joey B call to arms from playoff purple variation. Let's go. There we go. Even Zebron James approves. Yeah, thank you, Zebron. Zebron James. James says that's a nice setup. Your your uh, eagle eye camera, your bird's eye camera there is good. Yeah. Oh, this is a good car. This guy's there. hot right here, Jeff. Yeah, this guy's on the Thunder. They are playing great. Yeah. People were asking last night for Shea Gilgis Alexander, yeah. so we got one tonight. This is it's hard to buy Shea Gilgis Alexander yeah, cards right now. It's hard to buy him. It's hard to buy Chet. It's uh, it's hard to buy Wemby because there's not a lot of cards left. But there's there's a bunch of basketball guys that are impossible to buy right now. Yeah. So it's hard. It's hard to find him. Absolutely. People want to hold him close. Yep. And I don't blame him. There you go. All right. Shea Gilgis Alexander auction is going on. A couple seconds left. Let's see where it yeah. goes. Oh, there's people that want this SGA card. They're is fighting. Booming. It's being aggressive right here. SGA is booming. Turned out to be one of those best rookies from 2018. Yeah. I see. I guess he's. Gosh, I mean, I, I guess for a lot of people, he surpassed Trey Young at this point, which is yeah. sad for me to say being here in Atlanta. But I think that's the case. Yeah. He's yeah. not close to Luca yet, but not close to Luca. Yeah, Luca's a different breed. All right, there you go. All right, one more card. We got to give away on deck. Congratulations on that one. A B A B Z uh Ka Khalil Cowl. All right, this is the 1994 upper deck Michael Jordan baseball card rookie. Baseball yeah. rookie. Look at that. Michael Jordan baseball rookie from 1994 upper deck in an SGC 9.5 in a Chicago White Sox jersey. That's star yeah. star rookies. Star I love rookies, these cards, Jordan. That's pretty sweet, actually. That's a really love cool it. one. Yeah, neat. You don't see that one every no, day. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah, it's a neat one. The Jordan baseball cards. Those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. JKL sold says he has some of these. That's awesome. Yeah, very neat. And uh, yeah, people are wanting this card too, man. Everyone's yeah. everyone's in the action tonight. People like this one. Yeah. People like this one. End cards tens is he has too much money in Trey. You and me both end card tens, but he's my local guy, so I like him. I like him. Can't go wrong collecting who you like. Benny Buckets wants to know who's winning the Natty. By the way, uh, what is it? Fooks like books. Fooks like books. Fooks like books. Um, who's winning the Natty? What are those teams that's going to win the Natty? Yeah. I think it might be Michigan Cheer. Oh, I think it might be Michigan Cheer. Oh. I don't think Bama's doing it. I do not. Uh, I agree Bama. with that. I don't think I, Bama's doing it. I'm going to be honest. I think Texas is a little bit of a sleeper. I'm, Te Texas is Texas could get it done. Yeah, I, I don't think Washington. That's that, that's Probably one. That's one I'm going to eliminate. Um, I think Michigan beats Bama, and I yeah. think. See, I yeah, think I, Texas probably beats Washington, and I think you get Michigan Texas in the title game, and I think Michigan wins. That's I what feel I'm like that game's already lost for Michigan with how they reacted on the, you know, on TV, you know, when it was announced. I, I don't know, Jeff. I feel like that confidence that was a little bit embarrassing. It was. I just feel like yeah. the game was lost there. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm kind of with you. I feel like Michigan it, it could be their year, but that that right there kind of lost my confidence in them. So that was not great. Yeah. So now let's talk about this box, Jeff. This box is great. This is a this is a decent box right here. You can pull. Ellie De La Cruz first Bowman's in this oh, first edition first Bowman. Yeah. So he's very, 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 very first. Yeah. First Bowman. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you can pull color in here. Autos, this is a this is a good box right here. So one of the top prospects in the game for the Cincinnati Reds. So I'm kind of excited. Jeff, he's actually doing a signing this week at the Columbus show that we're going to. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. He's gonna be in Columbus. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Well, well, whoever wins tonight. Maybe get your box. Maybe pop the card out. Maybe yeah. rush to Columbus. To Hopefully, we see you in Columbus. There we there go. go. There All we right, go. Get him to sign it. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're gonna draw the winner. Nice box to give away here. Let's yeah. give it away. I know. Let's draw it. Roy boy, three three six. Congratulations. Congratulations. There Congratulations. you go. Congratulations. All right. Awesome. There we go. And I got another cool box to give away right here, Jeff. I know we 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 keep talking about the twenty twenty class. Yeah. 
I do like 2020. Someone had a question about break spot value and market movers. What I missed the question. What was the question? If the question was, do we track break break spot value by team and market movers? We don't, but that would be cool. That would be a cool. cool uh, a cool feature to add at some point yeah. in time. Does market movers have a beer ranking system? Says Campbell Ford. So, yes, you can add beer into your collection of market movers. May not price it out, but you know, I guess you can put it in there if you want to. Um, okay, so we're giving away this. Uh, this is our giveaway 2020 Optic Football. You're going for Joe Burrow. You're going for Tua. You're going for Jalen Hurts. You're going for Jordan Love, who, according to Jenny Marie, is going to win the Super yeah, Bowl this year. Apparently, Jordan Love's the big chase here. Yeah. Justin Jefferson is in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, a bunch of, of you guys. Good guys. Herbert's you, 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 in there. You still got a good mid tier like Brandon Ayuk. You know, I think J.K. Dobbins is still a good running back, but I know he's you know dealing with some injuries. But overall, this class is deep. Um, so. I uh, I bought a. Um, uh, speaking of the Georgia Collectible Show, our local little card show here in Atlanta, somebody in their case had Brandon Ayuk's 2020 Prism Gold. Ooh. out of ten. Wow. You you said you bought it. Five hundred bucks. You bought it. Thought that was nice. Yeah, Thought that was a nice buy for. I mean, so you know, happy with that. I mean, you never know with these guys, you know, especially teams, you know, players on uh, teams that are contenders. I mean, if they make it to the Super Bowl, he scores two or three touchdowns. Could be a, could be a big card overnight, Jeff. Yeah, for so, sure. So, all right, let's draw the winner here and let's get back to some selling some cards. All right, guys, good luck. Let's do it. Mitchell one hundred and two. Congratulations, thank you. There you go, Mitchell one hundred and two. Nice go. little stocking stuffer for you, courtesy yeah. of. Midwest cards and whatnot. Yep. All right, Jeff. So this round, we're going to go back to sudden death for the final time. Of sudden the night. death auctions, guys. We've got less than 30 minutes left in our show tonight. Yep. We're doing sudden death for more cards and then more giveaways, including our box of tops definitive here yep. in uh, just a few minutes. The big yep. giveaway of the night. So make sure you get your bid in before the clock runs out. It is not extending. 1997 top second year Kobe Bryant PSA six. This is his second year card. In PSA six condition, actually, really nice looking card for PSA six. You wouldn't yeah. really, it's well centered, uh, pretty crisp edges and corners. You you wouldn't really look at that and say, oh, that's definitely a PSA six. It's actually not bad. Uh, you know, it's nice looking card there. So, congratulations, OS Wars. Yep. All right, guys, only fifteen cards left in the night. All right, Cooper so. Cup rookie card. You don't see a lot of these out there. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm looking and turning this one over here because it is in raw condition, but it's pretty clean overall. Corners are maybe slightly, ever so slightly soft, you know. Yeah. But I mean, they're really, I mean, they're really not. You can see on the camera there, they're really not bad. I mean, it's the card overall is is pretty pretty solid. Yeah. So I mean, definitely one of the best wide receivers in the game right oh, now. Oh yeah, for by sure. By far. Oh for sure. By far. Absolutely. I mean, had an unbelievable year that they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. For so, sure. Different year for a receiver. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, unbelievable. I just, mean, yeah, you will yeah. never forget Cooper Cup as a player. So. No, and if he, you know, I mean, there's probably a conversation around the Hall of Fame. He may me do a little bit more, but there, there's a he has a seat at the table for a conversation. Well, he's still pretty young in his career, yeah, too. Exactly. I mean, he's still got years to go. Well, and then you know who know, who knows who his next quarterback is going to be because Stafford doesn't have much more time. So, right. So there we go. All William, thank you. We appreciate the purchase. Thank you, All William. So speaking about you, Jeff, and your your purchase this oh, look weekend. At that. Yeah, a little little rookie auto action out of fifty. I like the red ink on this card, Jeff. That is uh, from yeah, rookie, illusions, rookie endorsements from illusions. Yep. Oh, look at that in the light. Yeah, I love the red ink here. Card number to fifty with red ink. Yeah. Little color match on the ink there. Yep. Brandon Ayuk ink color match. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Benny Buckets. We are doing sudden death right now. Get your bids in before the clock runs out. It does not extend. Yeah. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, nice. people want this card. I, 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 and I get why. Yeah. So he's 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 someone that's developed really well since coming into the league in 2020. Oh, it's not sudden death. They're saying it's not. Sudden oh, death. is it not sudden death? Well, it's it's ended. All right. Maybe they caught me. They there. want sudden death. Well, let's get sudden death. What am I you doing? Want sudden death? Yeah. What am I doing? Make it sudden death. This is sudden death, and it's gone. It's on right now. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> All right. So this one's sudden death. This one is sudden death. Yeah, it's ending. All right, there's only nine seconds it. left, so it, it will not extend. you got to get your best bid in. This is a PSA 10 2020 Phoenix Justin Herbert card. One second, boom, done. Yeah, over. 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 I thought that was taking a little long, Over. Jeff. There we go. Let's get a Griffey in here. Yeah, you wanted to go fast and furious. I know, and I was like, this is a little 1990 tops Ken Griffey Jr. Clean-looking SGC 8 card. Nicely conditioned SGC 8 there. Absolutely. Looks good. Very, very nice. Um, 
Cool. Yeah, there we go. Johnny, we go. Johnny D66. Johnny D66. All right, Jeff, I can't believe I'm doing this sudden death. We got a LeBron rookie. Ooh. Yeah. Now, this is BCCG, BCCG. so they don't they don't grade as tough as normal Beckett. No. But this is this is Beckett community grade. Yeah, I'm just sending it here, so, Jeff. I mean, with LeBron rookie, wow. I mean, geez. Yeah, I mean, that's I just a nice looking card. I know. I yeah. mean, geez, 2003 tops. There we go. Wow. Wow. Yeah, get your bids in one second. Bang, wow. Suki, 89714. Wow. We appreciate your purchase. Wow, very nice. There we go. Yeah. All right, Jeff. I mean, I, I'm just sending it here. Otani. I know, are we, you doing an Otani? We, we've had people ask for Otani. You guys Otani, want Otani for Sudden Dev? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. It's going 15 seconds. 2018 Tops Heritage Otani. PSA yeah. Nine. Appreciate all you guys tonight in the stream helping us out. Helping out our launch to Cards HQ. Yeah, there we go. All right, Jeff. There we go. JPA Pucus oh, 10. Pending, but pending, all right. pending sale there for yep. JPA Pucus. All right. 10. We got CJ Stroud rookie right here. We got giveaways on deck. All right. This so is, this, this is, is we're this doing is this cool. one and then we're doing yeah. a giveaway. This is a rookie card. This is sudden death too, right? Yeah, he's been hot this 10 year. 10 seconds left. This is hot. your only chance tonight to get a uh, to get a CJ Stroud PSA 10 from 2023 select draft picks. Is uh, Ohio State select yeah. there? Here we go. Let's go Sick. and done. Done. Awesome. Appreciate, appreciate you guys. All right, giveaway time. Let's right. have some fun, guys. We're about to do three giveaways. Awesome. Three giveaways in a row. Three giveaways in a row. This awesome. is the first one. So we're moving quick. You got to click that button. All we right. got. We got. It's almost ten forty, Jeff. So we got to. We got to fly through these. Let's go. So yeah, you guys got literally like fifteen seconds to enter this one. We're going to the next one. Let's do it. All right, 2023 Donruss Optic UFC. You've got autos, at least one autograph in here, four cards per pack, 20 packs per box, and someone's about to win this thing. Hit that giveaway button, Boom. and we are going to do it. All right, here we go. Billy Boy. Boom, Billy Boy. Congratulations, Congrats. Billy Boy. There we go. Time All for right. the next giveaway. Let's go. Another giveaway tonight, guys. SP Authentic Hockey 2022-23 Hockey. Awesome. Glad we got a little hockey in the show tonight. SP Authentic. You you get those uh, Future Watch autos in here. Yeah. Those are fun. The Future Watch autos. Those are big time cards. Mm -hmm. Future Watch auto of McDavid. Obviously not in this product. No. But man, those, I mean, that's in a PSA 10. That's like a $30,000 oh, plus absurd. card. Absurd yeah, card. you get the Future Watch absurd. auto of the right guy. Yeah. Those things go crazy. All right, I'm drawing the winner, Jeff. All right. Ryan Rapto in the chat says he actually plays ice hockey. Hopefully go. he wins. Who wins? Call foot. Call foot. Congratulations. Yeah. There we go. Where, where are my Pokemon fans at? Awesome. Listen, one walk yeah. off three. Appreciate you. One walk off three. He's been watching our YouTube for years. Happy to see us do a live show. We're happy to have you tonight. Really happy to have you. Appreciate you. Oh, we got Pokemon. Well, yeah, where are the Pokemon people at? There we go. That's a nice little set. I know. They I love tell you what, this would my kids would love this. I know. I hope somebody gets this for themselves or their kids because this is a nice little giveaway tonight. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, AM Comic Book says his kids would love this. Matthew V82 in the chat says he's a Pokemon fan. Let's do it. Tag team back again, says Gold777. Yeah. He's a little 95 there we go. South. Five seconds till I draw the winner, guys. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Every single time I tell them five seconds, the number goes up like crazy. You guys got to hit it earlier. Tag team. I yeah. do like tag team there, Jake Davis. Let's do it. Let's see who we're right. at. Tonkin Joker. There you go. Tonkin Joker. Tonkin Joker. Let's All do right. it. Jeff, I know I said three, but we got to do a fourth. We got to do a fourth. Oh, we're so, doing another giveaway? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We got more giveaways. Another giveaway? Yeah. Star Wars Signature Series. Yeah. One encased autograph per box. Cool. Let's yeah. do it. This is this we're we're just giving away a lot of wax yeah. here. This is fun, guys. I appreciate all you guys joining tonight. It's really a pleasure to have you as part of our stream this evening. Happy holidays to all you guys. Merry Christmas. Um, it's awesome having you as part of this. And I can't wait for the Cards HQ store to open. Our card shop is gonna open to the end of January. And then we're gonna be doing streams like this all the time. Um Don't selling stop. cards, doing giveaways, hanging out, having fun. So we can't wait for that, guys. All right, uh, Jeff, really, I'm gonna draw the winner here. All right, let's draw the winner of this one. 
But thanks for thanks for joining us here for the virtual holiday card show. H Towns one of one. Congrats. H Towns one of one. All right, Jeff, I got two cards and then we're going back to giveaways. So we're moving quick here. Okay, we're this, auctioning two more cards off. This is a cool one. Look uh, at this. Yeah, this is out of 35, Jeff. Oh, and Mahomes number to 35? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes from 2021 yeah, Spectra. Card two yeah. Of card number two of 35. Patrick Mahomes, 2021 Spectrum, yeah. neon green. This is a pretty card. Yeah, it's a nice looking card. Look at that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Man, our setup makes it look so good. Yeah, that's cool. Very a little cool. light on the card. It yeah. looks great. We've been talking high about Mahomes all evening long. So, yeah, we. I think we. this is our second numbered Patrick Mahomes card. I kind of want this for the shop. I don't know why I'm running this. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, these two aren't sudden death. No, we're, we we're back do. to regular. We might do some more sudden death before the night's over. We'll see. But. Yeah, I only got about seven cards left, Jeff, after the, after We're getting down to the end here, guys. Congratulations, Double B. Yeah. Double B. What's going on? Congratulations yeah. to you. Let's run this Drew Jones, PSA 10 first Bowman. There you go. And <laughs> then I got a big giveaway on deck. Oh. We got a big giveaway on deck. That's nice. You think Drew Jones is going to be the player his father was? His father was a good good player here in Atlanta. Oh, his dad was unreal. So. Man, I tell you what, Arizona, he's in that Arizona farm system, Drew Jones is, and he could, I mean, Arizona could be, he could be yeah. pairing up with Corbin Carroll in a couple yeah. of years. That would be exciting. Yeah. Hey, it's Jay. Appreciate you. Hey, it's Jay. Appreciate Thank it. you very much. All right. Who's ready for a big giveaway right wow. here? Let's go. One of the wow. biggest giveaways of the night. Not the biggest, but one of them. Let's go for this one. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Wow, it is time to give away a hobby box of 2017-2018 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. This is your Jason Tatum Rated Rookies. This is a really big box. You got Tatum in there. You got Donovan Mitchell in there as well. I mean, this is this was a big year. Unreal year. Yeah. Unreal year. I mean, Tatum is one of the best players of this generation, no doubt. Yeah, I'd be excited about Tatum. For I cannot sure. wait till Tatum wins the finals. It's going to happen. You you got to think so, right? It's I mean, happen. Boston is. I mean, they've been knocking on the door every year. I know. I know. Luca's the year after, but you know, those are the two young guys that people are looking at, and you know, the Celtics are built to win. You know, the Mavericks every year, you're like, you're hoping they build to win, but they're just not. They just don't have the pieces around Luca. This guy's got the pieces, so yeah, this is going to be a special time. Yeah, I so, tend to agree. All right, guys, I'm going to give you 10 more seconds here to enter in this one of our biggest giveaways of the night. We still, we're still we still ripping here in a little bit. We got Definitive. We got Gilded coming up here soon. Oh, man, I'm even forgetting about this one over here. We got 2022 Select Hobby, Jeff. Oh, my gosh. So, wow. Well, I guess we got about 15 minutes left. You guys, I mean, you guys got to share the stream with your friends. You got to get your friends in here because this is some massive giveaways to end our night. By the way, everyone in the chat is saying the Soto trade is now officially wow. confirmed. The Soto trade is confirmed. Get him in the AL. I like that, Jeff. Get him in the AL. Awesome. Yeah. Why a boil lost cards? Thank you very much, man. Much love to you in LA. Appreciate your comments there in yep. the chat. Awesome. All right, Absolutely. Jeff, we're drawing the winner here for the 1718 Optic Hobby. Uh, N. Somnayak Fetty says Otani to the Braves. Can we get that confirmed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get that confirmed? David G, 1661. Congratulations. David G. David Let's go. G. Congratulations, David G. Let's go. All right. What do we got next here, Carter? We got, we got more Pokemon, Jeff. Where are okay. the Pokemon people at? We're giving this away, huh? Yeah. A little 151. All right. Let's Lots see. of giveaways tonight, courtesy of Midwest Cards, our official retail sponsor. Great place to shop for your wax for the holidays. MidwestCards.com and uh, whatnot. Whatnot's been great to us. They've been a, yeah. done a really nice job with the stream and supporting the stream and everything mm -hmm. we're doing on whatnot. Yeah, we shout out to it. whatnot, man. We sold how many blasters tonight? Did we sell an absurd amount? Uh, we sold 550 2022 absolute blasters, Jeff. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, and we did it like when they were sold in like under five minutes. Hey, sports auctions, small streamer. Are you here on whatnot sports auctions? Let me know in the chat. If you do your streaming on whatnot, or if you do it on it, he does do it on whatnot. Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what, sports auctions. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the opportunity of your life, sports oh. auctions. I like, I like uh supporting, I like supporting, you know, up and coming streamers. I like supporting up and coming entrepreneurs. And here's what we're gonna do for you, sports auctions, since you're since you're in the chat tonight. Um, when this show wraps up here. In, about in 15 20, minutes. it's 15 or 20 minutes or so. It might be a little, it might be a little while longer than that because we got to rip that last box. But as yeah. soon as we wrap up, 
sports auctions go live. I'm going to have you go live like five minutes before we wrap up. And then we're going to raid your stream. We're going to raid you. You're going to have a thousand people in your stream. So you better figure out some cards you want to sell or some cards you want to give away tonight. Get some giveaways going because then people will follow you to enter the giveaways. Can you do that? Tell me sports, sports auctions. Tell me in the chat if, um, if, if that's, if that's good, you're going to do that. Okay. Sports auction. So Kelly, He's sports underscore John Hop two two two. Congratulations! Sports underscore auctions. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Rob Brady wants to do that as well. A few people on here want to do that. All right, listen, we're gonna do sports auctions tonight, but we'll do some of you other guys with yeah. uh, future shows that we do. Let's go! Awesome. I love rating. All right, so we're giving away another nineteen ninety six basketball box. Yeah, Kobe rookie last night. Yeah, 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 Kobe rookie year. Yeah, very this cool is a box. big box. Yeah, yeah. This mm-hmm. is a big box. That's yeah. awesome. I'm going to be quick with this one, guys. So I'm giving you like literally two seconds. I'm about to click on it right now. Yeah, I love the fact that this box has a 99 cent price tag and yeah. yet has Kobe Bryant cards inside that could be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah, and I promise it's not worth 99 cents. Yeah. We talked about yeah. that last night. Definitely I not. promise. Definitely not worth 99 cents anymore. Brandon JC87. Congrats. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Jeff. I got two more cards and let's do giveaways. Two more cards and more giveaways. Yep. I tell you what, the audience has to love this ratio of cards. To I know it's been unreal tonight. This huh? is pretty crazy. All right, Jeff, this is a rookie Herbert number to two ninety nine red. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's just a that's the appeal of that card. That's just a cool like looking card, you know. Yeah, I it's, agree. Like that's like one you put on your put that on a stand up display. Yeah, and put that on your desk, yeah. and people who don't know anything about sports cards are going to look at that and they're going to be like, oh, what's that? Yeah, we're gonna have cards these huge stand up displays available in our shop. That's gonna be nice. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Stern 0807. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Matthew Stern 0807. All right, let's start this Brady, Jeff. Ooh, this is early Tom Brady right here. I've not seen this one before. Yep. 2002 Fleer Authentics PSA 9. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. Hits on cards. Says if anyone wants to follow him, he will be an amazing up and coming streamer. Awesome. Yeah, let's go. Awesome. Tim's cards, we will potentially be buying Star Wars at Culture Collision. Go G-Men, says Tom Brady is overrated. Uh, <laughs> that might be a little biased. That might be a little Yeah, who's biased. your favorite team? That, I need to know. Uh, G- I need G-Men. to know. No, his name is G-Men. Oh, G-Men. I thought it was Go, Go Man. G-Men. Oh, oh never mind. That's biased. Yeah. That's a little biased. Yeah, That's okay. I, I mean, I get the Eli Manning debate there, but come on. Come PMH80. On. Appreciate you, PMH80. Thank All you right. very much. All right, Jeff. Wow, look at this. Yeah, this we're is cool. giving this away. Yeah, right now. This is you better fun. enter quick because guess what? We're ripping gilded next. We got to rip gilded. So let's go. Pendles card streams on YouTube. Same name as on here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, check out Pendles Cards YouTube. We're giving him a shout out as well. Yep. Also, sports undercard auctions is 450 followers. We will get him a thousand followers tonight. Yep. If he runs some giveaways when we raid his channel tonight. Sports auctions will get over a thousand followers. Yeah, tonight. let's get it. Let's he will. get it. He will for sure. Yeah, we're big C seven. You got to get on whatnot. Yeah, we're gonna help out sports auctions tonight. All right, I'm drawing the winner right now. You Jeff, draw the winner. Yeah, we got. We're ripping gilded next. Mitch Crackants, I think Crackants. Mitch, crack, Mitch, crack, crack ants, crack ants, crack, 13, crack ants, 13. Congratulations. All right. It's, oh, it's time, time for, for this. gilded Hold baby. On, let's do this. Yes, sir. This Let's go. Guys. This is it. Tops gilded collection. One yeah. gold framed autograph and one gilded chrome auto per box. So I have never actually opened one of these boxes before. I've seen the cards. The cards are beautiful. People love the gilded collection cards. I've never ripped one. And we're going to rip it right yeah, now. Yeah, we're ripping it this right will now. This be the first time I will have ever ripped one of these boxes. This is cool. this I'm cool super set. excited to rip this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a good experience. Yeah, you guys got, hey, he's about to rip the box. You got 10 seconds before I draw the winner. You Whoa. better hit that give button. Get in that giveaway, Yeah, guys. right now. I see 300 seconds. people in this live that haven't hit that button wow. yet. Wow. Send hit this live giveaway. to your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We yeah, got gotta, definitive coming up, too. I mean, this is even bigger. Enter the giveaway, guys. This yeah. is a gilded box, a whole gilded hobby box. This is a massive, massive product. Yeah, here. you got to hit enter right now. All right, here we go. I'm drawing it. Draw the winner. Yep, it's drawn. Wow, look at this box. Good luck, everybody. 
TG Sports Cards, congrats. Let's get you some hits. Let's go. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a that's a, that this is a nice been. box for him to win. All right. So TG was it TGS Sports Cards? Yeah. Oh, he's in the chat. T- yeah. you know, TG Sports Cards. Oh, wait. He's- oh, Josh just said chat. Should we do 50 more blasters? I'm adding them right now. Oh, we got more blasters, more blasters coming. Oh, oh, we need some hype in the chat for more we blasters. Need to, we need to break Ryan Card Collector 2's record. Even 600 seems fair. Yeah. yeah, he said even 600 seems fair. Uh, oh, look at yeah. this. Ooh. This is a nice presentation right here. I love it. Isn't that nice? I love it. Wow, that's a nice presentation. Okay, I cannot believe that we're giving this away. And this isn't even the biggest box that we're giving away tonight. Oh, we still got 2022 Select Hobby. We still got Definitive. All right. It's going to be a fun... We got a fun last couple minutes here, Jeff. We do. This is going to be a fun end to the show. And we got more blasters being loaded up here soon. Wow, look at these cards. Oh, yeah. Ryan Velade of the Chicago Rockies rookie card. Wow. That may be numbered. They look, yeah, they look just cool. Out of 50. Out of 50, nice. Wow, a numbered rookie card out of 50. Look at this one. This one has a little special meaning. Oh yeah, go Braves, baby! Jared Kalanick, your new, your new Atlanta Brave. That's exciting. I'm glad that the Braves yeah. got him. That is exciting. Wow, very cool. All right, here we go. Who we got next? Ooh, oh, we got auto rookie card auto. Luis Gill. Look at that of the New York Yankees. A new teammate to Juan Soto. Yeah, there we On go. On card auto. Rookie there we auto. go. There we go. And our Very. final card. Oh, Suzuki. Suzuki. Rookie. And that's some type of yeah, uh, well, variation. Variation. Yeah, there. let's check the, the back. All gold variation. Yeah, check the all back. All right. So, first of all, the Gill is out of Ooh. 25. The Gill auto is out of 25. Wow, that is huge. And then how about Suzuki? Suzuki is out of 199. There we go. Okay. There we go. Wow. And we haven't even opened up the craziest card yet. This is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome. All right, guys. I can't believe we're giving all this away tonight. I know. We got more. Yeah, we got even bigger stuff to give away. Here's the framed card. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Top skill to collection. Single card giveaway. Let's get it. Ooh, a throwback. Ooh. Ferg- Fergie Jenkins. Hall of Famer, beautiful Chicago card. Cubs, beautiful card, number to ninety nine with a nice on card auto, beautiful card. There you go, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, beautiful. There you go, very very nice. That is awesome. Congratulations, very very cool, very wow. cool. Great All player. Right. All right, Jeff, I got another giveaway, and then then we're gonna sell the rest of our cards. Okay, and then get into the big giveaways here to end the night. Oh, oh we're you're giving away Brawny. Oh, oh wait! We'll oh. Do, well, all right. Once he fires up this giveaway, we'll add him. Let yeah. him fire up the giveaway here. All right. I need some hype in the chat for more blasters, guys. Fifteen dollar blasters, half off retail. Okay. So here's what we're doing, guys. First of all, enter this giveaway, and then second of all, these blasters. How many more are we adding? How many? Fifty, 50 more. One per person. One per person. Very so important. So we're going to add 50 more of these absolute football blasters to our online store here on whatnot. For for um, fifteen dollars each, that's half off the retail price. These blasters give you the chance of kabooms, kaboom rookie cards for fifteen bucks. They're an incredible deal. We just got fifty more from our friends at whatnot. They've done an awesome job of of uh, hooking all of you guys up with incredible blaster deals for the holidays. Um, and um, we want to put them yeah. in the store now. Are you ready? As soon as we put them in the store, they're going to sell. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's see. Almost immediately. And they're live. All right. They're live in the store. They're live. They're live. You can get these absolute football blasters in our store. They're gone. They're gone. They're They're already sold. They're gone. Instantly. (laughs) We sold 50 blasters in two seconds. Josh, that's got to be a record. I need to know. I need. I need to know how fast fifty you could. I mean, I know Car Collector Two does impressive stuff. But yeah, I don't, but... I don't even know if he could sell fifty blasters in two seconds. Huh? Use fifty. I saw fifty. I saw fifty. I saw fifty, Kelly. Guys, what just happened? Wow. What just happened? We need. We need a record check. Okay, we need someone re- check the record. We really sold fifty in three seconds. It, it, two. It had to be two. 
It two said point, 50. It said 50. 2.1 seconds. 2.1 seconds. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't know. All right. All right let's let's, let's okay. draw the giveaway here. Let's do the giveaway. All right. Let's give away wow. a brawny. Let's give away a brawny to somebody. <laughs> Someone, someone should get the brawny. John Hop two two two. Congratulations. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. Wow. John Hop two two two. Congratulations. All right. Let's finish the night with some cards, and then let's get back to auction. How many cards do we have left? Four. Four cards. These are the final four cards of the night, guys. And then we're going to give away our biggest boxes of the night. Yeah, we got five giveaways left. Oh, we got five giveaways five. left. All right. Let's do the last four cards. And then we're going to do our final five giveaways yep. of the night. And we end the night with definitive. Oh, my God. That's so good. Yep. 2013 tops update Mike Trout batting. There we go. Sold. Boom. Sold. Boom. Okay. Congratulations to <laughs> win, uh, win to win. 2000 finest Kobe Bryant, PSA 9. Yep. There, there go. you go. Cool looking Lakers color card there. Yeah, I like this card. I like what the court fairly kinda. early career. By the way, he's wearing number eight in this card. Yeah, very cool. Very that early. was uh that was his early career number, number eight. Yeah, very cool. Um, so it's cool to see that in the card for sure. All right. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, yeah, people are aggressive on this one. Let's they want go. they like Kobe. Let's go. Oh, let's get some Kobe. Boss Daddy 10. Boss Daddy wants some Kobe. Yep. Boss Daddy wants some Kobe. All right. Brew Packs wants us to put 7,000 more absolute football <laughs> blasters available for sale. Congratulations, Boss Daddy, 1057. Okay, we got two more cards left, guys. These are the last two cards in the night that we're selling. Look at this one. I this know. one's pretty wild. I know, a little wow. Upper Deck Vintage Drew Brees. Wow, 2001 Upper Deck yeah. Vintage Drew Brees. Yeah, very cool That's card. a rookie card, right? Yeah. Look at that. God, look how young Drew Brees looks. I know. That's actually a super cool card. I've not actually seen this one before. That is a super cool card. I like it. Really neat. What a, what a baby, per Wendy says. I agree. What a baby. That's awesome. All right, Matthew Stern won. Let's All get right, on Matthew the last Stern one. Won. Congrats. All right, last card of the night. And then we got the big giveaways. And then we got the big giveaways. Here we go. Ken Griffey Jr., 1989 Fleer, PSA 9, a card that I had when I was a kid. Not a PSA 9 and raw. Probably would have never graded a 9. Um, but it's uh, it's cool to see the Ken, early Ken Griffey Jr. cards, Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. 89 Fleer, his Fleer rookie card, PSA 9 condition. Last card of the night for sale. We appreciate all you guys supporting yep, us you. and supporting our new cards HQ store. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Appreciate all you guys. And it is Roadies Collectibles Thank that you. takes down the last auction of the night. All right, let's All right get guys. Five giveaways. Five big giveaways to end the night, starting with this guy. This is a this is a sought after Pokemon box. This is Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. I will tell you what, my kids would go crazy if this box were underneath the Christmas tree. So somebody is going to get this for free right now. And we're drawing entering the giveaway. We're going to draw the winner right now. Yeah, we're drawing draw it. The we're, winner. Yeah, we're drawing it. Guys, we're doing it quick. These giveaways are going fast. We have four more giveaways tonight. They're only Tortuga flips. Congrats. Tor Tor Tortuga flips. All right. Next giveaway. Star Wars Galaxy 2023 trading cards. Three chrome parallels. Popular box here. Popular box for sure. Enter this giveaway, guys. Click the button to enter the giveaway. We are going to give this one away. Here, Here we, we go. go. All right, I'm drawing the winner right Ready now. Ready to draw the winner? Yep. Jeff Hump. Congratulations, Jeff Hump. Three more giveaways tonight. Yep. After this one, Jeff, we got two big oh, ones. Oh, they're about to get real. We got two big ones. They're about to get real. They are about to get real tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. We got select hobby on deck. Oh, we're going to give away select hobby box. We got select hobby, and then we're ending the night with Woo definitive. We're ripping that one live. Woo -wee. So you guys better you guys better share the stream. It's last chance right now. Awesome. Get, get your friends in here. Awesome. So let's awesome. go. All right. All right. 10 seconds, and I'm drawing the winner right here for the let's UFC box. Let's do it. So it's been a fun night. I cannot believe how fast Blaster sold tonight, Jeff. 
That Unreal. was awesome. Unreal. Yeah. Credit to whatnot. Thank you, whatnot. All right, let's draw the winner. Chrissy Chris sleeves. sleeves. All right. All right. It's, Chris Sleeves. It's, Chris Sleeves. Congratulations, Chris Sleeves. Okay, guys, this is a big. Ho, 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 Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door Are we there? Are we back? Are we back? Oh, we got muted. Are we That's back? Good. I think you accidentally touched your I think Jeff wow. accidentally muted. Wow, I muted myself. <laughs> wow, I'm so I got I got so excited. I got so excited that I actually muted myself. Yeah. I muted myself. The silence represented our excitement. So here's here's what here's what we got, guys. We're about to give away this box of 2022 Select Football Hobby Box. This is a big, big box that we are giving away. Um, and uh totally for free. We appreciate you guys entering the drawing. We're going to select the winner in just a second. Before we do, I want to remind everybody that our friends at Stand Up Displays tonight, they create these custom card stands. You can see this awesome Cards HQ stand. Anything you want on a card stand, tonight only, these are less than 20 bucks. You can upload any design you want, any logo you want, any picture you want, and they'll put it on a card stand, holds any size card. You can you know adjust it so it's a slab or a top loader or whatever. Less than 20 bucks. Go to standupdisplays.co, standupdisplays.co, and it's promo code virtual2023. That actually gives you 20% off anything on Stand Up Displays website. Promo code virtual2023 on Stand Up Displays CO. That is your that is a deal tonight. All right, you ready to pick the winner? It's of time. this. It's time, and we got the big one. And next. then after that, we're giving away an even bigger box. Yep. Okay, you ready to pick the winner? Yep, it's drawn. Here Good we luck, go. everybody. Let's, see. Let's go. Arkansas dubs. You just took the dub on the 2022 select hobby box. Let's go. Arkansas dubs. Wow. Congratulations, Arkansas dubs. Okay, this one we are going to, to rip. rip. Yep. This is the big giveaway of the night. Who wants the box? I need to know who wants this box. And wow. I, I better see 1,400 different people commenting they want this. Wow. Yeah. This is going to be big. All right. This is going to be big, guys. We got to get You got to get in. We're going to open up the giveaway on this one. Right now. We got 1,488 people in the stream. And uh, rightfully so, because we're about to give away the biggest box of the night. This is Topps Definitive Collection this 2023. The, this is the biggest box giveaway of the virtual. Yes, Between it the is. two nights. It is. This is the biggest box giveaway. We're ending on this. We're going to pick the winner in a minute. And then once we pick the winner, we're going to open the box. So stick around because you're going to want to see us pull whatever. Even if you don't win, you want to see what comes out of this. And then after that, we are going to raid. You got the account we're raiding up? Well, I don't know, well, no, but it was, it was, you got it written down, got it written down. sports auctions. Was it all right? Yeah. We're going to raid. So sports auctions, auctions. sports, Let's underscore go. Auctions. go Who's get, ready for a raid sports underscore auctions needs to go live, uh, go live here. Uh, cause we're going to raid them in just a minute before we give this box of tops definitive want to remind everybody two other specials. We're doing a grading special with PSA and SGC tonight. If you go to sportscardinvestor.com and click grading in the main menu bar, uh, there's a we got a grading special $19 for PSA, uh, $15 for SGC. You do not have to join the collectors club uh, for PSA. Uh, $19 grading on sportscardinvestor.com. Click grading and then market movers, sportscardinvestor.com. Click market movers in the main menu bar. Promo code holiday gets you 30 days free of market movers. Go to sportscardinvestor.com. Click Market Movers in the main menu bar, promo code HOLIDAY, 30 days free, and then 20% off after that. Pretty good deal. All right. You ready? Are oh, you yeah. ready for the moment? 
It's time. Are you ready for the pull? It's time. You're going to do it? It's time. You're going to hit it? Yeah, uh, you got two seconds. All right, two seconds? One, two. It's I'm going to open it. I'm going to start opening it. Over 1,400 people just entered this giveaway. Bowel 5249. Wow, Bowel 5249. Congratulations. Let's see what you got. Everyone yeah, stick around let's here. Go. Congratulate yeah. him in the chat, him or her. Wow. Because this, wow, look at this thing. Wow, this is unbelievable. This is wow. Unbelievable. Wow. This is like a like a secured oh, ho, ho, case ho, ho. of amazingness here. Wow. Here we go. Let's pull something special, here guys. Here we go. Woo-wee. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo-wee. This is gonna be good, guys. Feel like we got something good. Feel like we got something good about to happen here tonight, guys. You ready to see what we got? Wow, look at this. Unbelievable. Look at this. Unbelievable. This stack of cards. Oh my gosh. It's got to be heavy, Jeff. <laughs> oh, something. Something. Something big's on the end there. Something real big's on that last one. There's something big on that last card, guys. All right, here we go. Here, one at a time. Bring it down a little bit, Jeff. There mm -hmm. we go. There you go. One at a time. Start here. Ready? Oh, that's just. Oh that's yeah, that's a banger right there. Boom, Michael <laughs> uh, let's Harris. go. Michael Harris uh, of the of the Atlanta Braves, uh, the hero of the Atlanta Braves playoff series with that incredible throw. Uh, it didn't win the series, but but one one, one game, one, one game, one game it was an incredible game. Look All at right. that game used memorabilia, Michael yeah. Harris. These tops definitive cards are so beautiful. Yeah, great card right beautiful there. Beautiful card, and that is a really nice one. That is awesome, Michael Harris. There you go. Next card. We've got a rookie. We've got a rookie. Rookie auto. Gabriel Marino. Number to 50. On card auto. Very cool for the Toronto Blue Jays. All right. There we go. We got some nice things happening, guys. We got some nice things happening. Okay. Let's see what's next. People in the chat saying Marino's a stud. Hopefully he lives up to that. Well, yeah, he's on the D backs. Did you say that? He's on the D backs. Yeah, Gabriel he's the Marino. Now. Yeah, he's on the D backs. He's on the D backs. Played great in the postseason. You know what else is great? One of the all time great pitchers for the New York Yankees, Andy yeah. Pettit. Out of Number 10. to 10. Wow, that's cool. Game used Yankees jersey. Wow. Numbered to 10. That's yeah, neat. solid box so far. That's Jeff. a solid box so far. Game used yeah. Pettit on card auto, number to 10. All right. Cannot believe we're giving all this away. It's unbelievable. Another all-time great, Ozzy Smith, number to 25. The magician did magical things on the field for the St. Louis Cardinals. The wizard, Ozzy Smith, the wizard, number to 25. There you go. Incredible. Incredible. Is this one going to be? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh boy. Wow. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Look at that. Aaron Judge, number to 15 framed card. Beautiful card. Wow. On card auto, Aaron Judge. Wow, gold frame. Boom. That's crazy. Boom. That's that is nice. Crazy. That is nice. Wow, what a box. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is special. Guys, we still got some cards to go. We still got some cards to go. It might only get better. Next up is Riley Green, rookie oh, card there for go. Detroit. Number 10. to 10. Nice. Not bad there. Number to 10. Yeah, good rookie. All right. Let's go. Riley Green, number to 10. On card auto. Loaded box. Loaded box, guys. I think Aaron Judge's market's better now with having a uh, Juan Soto as a teammate as well. Ozzy Albies. There we go. A little Braves box of here. our Atlanta Braves. Game used memorabilia from Albies, number to 40. We got one card left. Oh. One card left. Oh. I don't know what it is, boys, but here's what I'll tell you. It's that oh, thick. Oh my goodness. It's that thick. Oh my goodness. What is that? I don't know. What oh. is that thick? <laughs> Let's go. Ready? What is this? Wow. 
Jose, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. That's wow. Out of 50. What is that? Let me read the back. That is wild. Is that part of a cleat or yes, something? I think it is. Helmet. Uh, helmet. Helmet. That's his helmet. Very cool. Jose Ramirez of the Cleveland Guardians. That, a, is a, that is a game-used helmet relic. I don't think I have a sleeve thick enough for that. That's Jeff. pretty cool. <laughs> a game-used helmet relic from Jose Ramirez. That is awesome. Wow. What a box. What fun this was, guys. What fun. And we're going to go raid another WhatNot channel to support a new streamer, a new entrepreneur who is in our chat tonight. We appreciate you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining the virtual Let's get our raid going and go support a new streamer. And we'll see you soon for our next show on Cards HQ. Let's go. Thank you for the raid so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Everyone join up. Everyone join up on the raid. First card we're running, boys. We're running this card, boys. This one's out of 10. Out of 10, Pierce Strong Jr. RPA, boys. Let's run it. At two bucks, boys. Two bucks, 30 seconds, sudden death. Sudden death, guys. Out of 10. Out of 10. It's out of 10, guys. Out of 10. Your 25 is a steal. Out of 10, ladies and gentlemen. Out of 10, guys. He was ready. My boy's ner- Yes, sir, bro. I'm nervous. Everyone, you gotta bookmark the show to win this Gibby, all right? 56 bucks. All right, all right, that's doable. All right, guys, we're running this tri-color Zach Wilson 8 out of 249. Let's go, let's go, guys. Two bucks on that. Let's go. Thank you so much for the buy, Wheeze Pepper. Thank you for the followers, too, everybody. Thank you so much for the tip. Everyone, if you could tip just like that, that would actually be a new subscriber. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 700 people watching. Yes, sir, guys. Thank you so much for joining up my live. And thank you so much for the raid. It actually means so much to me. You know, all right, Kyle Pitts Maroon 9 out of 149. Out of 149, guys, on Sunday. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for the tips, guys. More tips, the better. Thank you so much for the tips. Thank you so much for the tips. M. Seaver. I once got a $1 tip. That meant the world. Bro, a $100 tip would be crazy. No one feel tempted to thank you for bidding. A $5 tip. Thank you so much. A dollar tip. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Now we're going to run this Malik Wills at 8. Rookie out of 20. Out of 20, guys. Can't do 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Bro, my phone is so laggy. With my 30 frames, it's unbelievable. Go, John. 8, 9, 7. Good, goodbye. This is a steal, guys. It's out of 20. It's out of 20, guys. It's out of 20. Thank you so much for the $5 tip. Holmes, do my homes. We will, we will. Need low in 101. Thank you so much for these tips, guys. It actually means the world to me. Absolutely means the world. Oh, a dollar tip. Thank you. Guys, we're running this David Bell. I love 49 on sudden death. I'm going to give you, we will, in literally five seconds, guys. Thank you for that buy, Silver. Damn, bro. Don't even know. All right. You guys, thank you. $20 tip. Oh, my gosh. You can turn lights on 100%. My bad. I'm so sorry. There we go. Thank you so much for the buy. Let's let's run the Gibby. Draw a winner, boys. Bro, the tips are unbelievable. Nice. Nice, nice, guys. Pack, good win. That's an absolute steal for $9. Yeah, we've got Violet Cell Trust. Pack. Add Jacks. 
one. Oh yeah, you will get it in just a second. So sorry, so sorry. You want that Gibby? Alright guys. We're running this so, sauce gardener, boys. Rated rookie sauce. Who won the Gibby? Can someone tell me who won the Gibby? Who won the Gibby, guys? Who won the Gibby? Who won the Gibby? Who won the Gibby, boys? Padax Iron. 